That'd be so fucking chaotic. I'm so I can't wait for Al I can't wait for Walker to just get paid fifty dollars for not doing anything at all. Walker did nothing and gets I paid. I can't wait for him to not share that money with anybody else either. Dude, same. <laughs> they're not they're not escorting the weird fugitives. I mean, technically, they are escorting the weird fugitives. But, all right, all right, all right. The Walker same. will split it with Evie and Simon and Easy. Let's go! Oh, hell yeah. Since they also I escorted get, the weird fugitives. I got us in trouble for getting... But I get paid oh. for it. <laughs> somebody who's definitely wanted, somebody who thinks they're wanted, and somebody who doesn't want to be wanted. Those are the I'm people not, that you should I'm be I'm not wanted. With. In general. Everyone wants you. <laughs> <laughs> Especially on Friday don't, nights now. <laughs> don't you want me? Previously in the land of D&D, &D, after returning from the Shadowfell in a very close life or death situation, you guys were able to, along with your new ally Ishri, who has been unexpectedly brought forth as well, <laughs> you were able to get a few of the Ceresians into the country, though, out of the original, only four made it all the way. A much more dangerous and deadly journey than was to be expected. You spent the majority of your time after you went your separate ways. They went at breakneck speed to try and uh, reach Marquez and hope that they could speak with him and see what they could do. In the meantime, you guys headed back towards Fort Siege after some prolonged conversations about what the fuck. I feel like that's a good underline on what happened, just what the fuck. And yeah, you guys continued your travels Master, back to Fort Master, Siege to try and get back some horses and cover your tracks. After Walker spent a little bit of time, you know, checking things out. Doing a bit of... For Walker, I suppose... Enemy combatant-esque reconnaissance. Though, mostly just reconnaissance. Depends on your perspective. Eventually, you... Found out that two of the horses were sold, and they were looking for the rest of the party for a possible connection to what happened. Walker headed back, and then you guys spent a long fucking time resting. Completing a long rest. So we come forth the next morning, and I will ask unto you, as I have a billion times before, Amari, Evian, Liliana, Owen, Ishri, Rom, Simon, and Walker. As it has now been a couple of days that you have been back in the real world, in the mortal plane, away from the Shadowfell, Ishri has dealt with a third sunrise. Badly. No better, no worse, still that same, same horrible feeling. But it's another day. It's late morning. You have had your breakfast. You've done some hunting. You are able to survive very valiantly here in the wilds. You've gained some much needed abilities and experience. So, I ask unto you all. It's late morning. The 29th of the division of strength. What are you guys doing? I believe Walker is waiting for the others to be ready to go. Owen oh, is, uh... Kind of... He's doing it with, like... Like, he's not scowling, but he's he's kind of going about his... Uh, you know, packing and getting things ready. Kind of... Angrily? Forcefully? It's evident that he is not in a very good mood. Uh, Rom gets her things together like pretty much as quickly as possible, taking notice that Owen does not look 
super stoked. Um, <laughs> she, she's just gonna come up to him and be like, "You gonna be able to hold it together?" Uh, upon being, I guess, uh, confronted about his sour mood, <laughs> Owen kind of deflates a little bit, and you see some of the tension uh, kind of go out of his shoulders, and he uh, he lets out a heavy sigh. I, Rom, I'm going to be all right. Bit of a shite situation, though. You're not wrong. Do we need to go over the plan again? What we're going to say? Um... It'd be smart to do so. Yeah, might as well. I mean, let's let's bring in our other friend on the conversation here. Oi! I'm out I, I huh? hate that I'm William has coming. got everyone doing this fucking <laughs> fully work now. I, hold, I hold on, am hold on. infectious. Huh? I'm coming! That work. <laughs> that work as well as I'm it did. going. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, this, session, <laughs> this session of D&D has been recorded in front of a live studio all audience. <laughs> Just jogs up over. <clears throat> Backpack ready. You ready we're to go back? Yeah, we're making sure that we all got our stores straight. Right. Well, <clears throat> the plan is we're going to tell stick to as we're going to stick as close to the truth as we can. We all met at the festival in Dunrock. What would that have been? Uh, ben, how long ago was that? Oh God! Um, about a month ago, seventeen actually. years. It was about like uh, what was it like <laughs> um, a season ago? About I think it's the... about a month and a half, a little bit less than. Um, if we don't, we don't need an exact date. It would have been just over a month and a week. So you know, so a month ago. Yeah, over a month ago. So we met there, and planned to stay together because I don't know. People like us, you know, better off together than apart. We didn't know who he was or where he came from, but he helped us with the work we did for the Antelier. And after everything went to hell in Dunrock, we headed north to get away from it all. We heard of the swamp and we had the bright idea to go hunting for gators, because apparently nobody's made a business out of hunting gators for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> An entrepreneurial idea on my part. You should probably <laughs> stick closer to the truth on that one. Okay. Just, just staying on the move. I mean, Doing there's no other reason to come up this way. Staying on the move? Making way in the world. When they ask about Evian, all we're going to say is that we suspect he tagged along to get closer to the border, and he took the first chance he saw to escape the country. That's all we know. I was thinking about asking Evian to rough us up a, a little bit, but that was about a week ago or so. Anything would have healed by now. I don't think you all would all would know if he was trying to escape the border. Maybe have suspicions, but that's why I said we suspect. We tag mm. them all. Can only only speculate. It wouldn't and make sense if he stole your money if he was trying to leave the country. So maybe leave other valuables behind instead. Weapons. <laughs> Things of that nature. Food. I did tell them I found you without any food and shared the eater I caught with you. So we leave behind valuables, weapons. Agreed? 
All right. Yeah. Look at Rom's big ass sword. Uh, let me let me see <laughs> what action this is. Hold on. Uh, uh features page. Well, oh, Alex okay. spends an hour I, on her turn. It's, oh. it's no action required, so Rom just sort of like waves her hand and her sword fades off into green mist. I wish I could do that. Oh, and Cox an eyebrow, but he doesn't mm -hmm. say. Uh, he instead kind of turns uh, and he will. Uh, <laughs> his, he, he looks over the group and his gaze settles on uh, Lily and he steps up to her and uh, unbuckles his sword and as he steps up to her he says um, do you think you'll be sticking that around long enough to hold on to this for me? Uh, I I don't think so. Very well. I suppose... I suppose we should say our goodbyes then. Yeah. And Liliana... looks quite... quite sad and, and somber and... she kind of looks around at the group and takes a moment to to swallow kind of past the lump that's building in her throat and she starts to get quite teary-eyed and um, thank you everybody for letting me tag along and and work with you guys through everything we've done and I wish you all the best of luck and hope things go well and that you, Evian and Owen are able to get back home and that whatever ends up happening doesn't take more from all of us from all of you than it has already Lily, I Usually I'm better at this sort of thing, but kind of looks away. Do you remember what you said to me on that first day in Dundrock? Um, the first thing I s said? Oh, well, it wasn't the first thing you said to me, but when we first met, after we saved that man, told me that you wanted to help people and that you wanted to make your father proud. I know, uh, I know I never met him, but I think, well, I don't see how he couldn't be proud if he could see you now. Juliana, like, she brings her hands up to her face and kind of rubs at her eyes and kind of sniffles a little loudly and just... Thank you, that... That means a lot. And then she'll move forward to give Owen a big hug. 
Owen uh, Owen returns her embrace, uh, and he he kind of you know he he's much uh, uh, smaller than Lily in terms of like you know muscle mass, uh, but he does uh, do his best to to give you the the classic Garish crushing bear hug. Liana bear hugs back, and it is <laughs> definitely the ultimate bear hug. And Owen does. <laughs> <laughs> she accidentally crushes his internal organs. And that's how Nick has to roll a new character. No, <laughs> so, uh, give us an hour. Uh, um, but uh, before she pulls away, she'll lean in um, to whisper something softly in Owen's ear, and I will message that to you. Oh, you beat! I had I had a whispery thing too. You beat me to it. <laughs> They whisper sweet nothings. I'm upset. <laughs> Nick's just staying upset. <laughs> yeah, Nick's the upset one. Only him. <laughs> Only me. Only him. I personally don't know anyone else but Nick that's upset right now. I actually don't know anyone but Nick. Logan, I wish general. I knew where you lived. <laughs> I, I have his address. Give it to me. Oh. Send it to me. Oh, oh, oh Nicole, you slay me. <laughs> No! <laughs> He's using uh, phrases. <clears throat> this time it's it's Owen's turn to kind of uh, sniffle, and uh, he um, he kind of clears his throat like he's you know trying to to maintain his composure, uh, and he says uh, just loud enough for everybody who's around to hear. He says, "If you ever find yourself." In Garland, Lily, come to Varat. That's where I aim to be. And even if I'm not there, someone from my family will be, while one of us still draws breath. Thank you. Mm. I hope it's you that's there. <laughs> uh, Owen smiles. Take care. Lily, and go with both Karads and my blessing. Thanks. You too. And then Lily will also move to go and give um, Rom a big hug. You know, I ain't had a whole lot in this world besides money. And y'all were really, are really the best of it. So should you ever need anything? Just come looking. Joe will be somewhere. Definitely, and thank you again for the beautiful dress. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Rob will give her a little kiss on the cheek. <laughs> and then she'll move and uh, go over to Evian, give him like a playful punch to the shoulder. To the back of the head. <laughs> yeah, okay, but you hit. Roll, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, don't be a fucko. <laughs> You fucko! No, what should I roll to playfully punch? I'm joking. It's a D20 bitch. plus eight billion. <laughs> Fuck! Ten's not gonna do it. I'm sure. No, that misses. actually. I'm I'm actually flat-footed, so that does hit. <laughs> Don't use those phrases. Stop. They scare me. <laughs> <sighs> Wait, that's Pathfinder. Uh, Evian will. The same as Owen going for a uh, classic Garish bear hug, except um, his actually hurts a little bit. Oh, Liliana matches bear huggery. Good. Good. Ton for ton. And they both die. <laughs> <laughs> we'll literally crush each other to death. <laughs> the deadliest we, goodbye we ever. Just break each other's spines. <laughs> Oh yeah, systematically kills everyone as she says goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I was the true evil force all along. 
I can't be in this party. No one can. <laughs> um, and then uh, she'll go over, or well, she'll tell you and um, try to stay out of too much more trouble. And no promises. <laughs> if you if you ever need pointers on your technique, uh, come find me. I'll be around somewhere. Sure. And then uh, she'll go over to Walker, and she will hold out a hand to him. Walker will Shh. will will shake the hand, a surprisingly good handshake for a man of his stature. Hope you remember what I said the other day. I will never forget it. And um, now that you're um, cured, trying to think too um, too poorly, Jake. Oh, here. And then Liliana will quickly dig out her out of her pack and hold out. I almost forgot. And hold out the the second vial that science man had given her of this. <laughs> The strange greenish greenish brown liquid. Um, so, you're probably more likely to come across him than me now, so maybe it'll do better for him than it did for me. Uh, Walker accepts the item and nods. Thank you. And she'll. Uh, Look over at Amari and Simon, and uh, just, uh, good luck with everything. Um, try not to to kill too many people with all your magic. Simon points at Amari. That's him you gotta worry about, not me. I I do my best. <laughs> I mean, Amari, we'll be fine, Lily. I'll keep. An eye on him. I, that probably sounds scary. <laughs> um, Simon will hand you a piece of paper, mm-hmm. and if you, if and when you open it up, it's a uh, a nice, beautiful sketch of a beach. Just something oh. to remind us, I guess. Thank you. I will treasure it. Or throw it away. (laughs) I'm not going to throw it away. But on a more serious note, I wish you both the best and good luck with wherever the journey takes you next. No problem. Hope you stay safe. Good luck out there. Thanks. And then she'll slide over to Ishri and hold out a hand to her and um I hope you're able to get back home eventually, but if you ever want a temporary place to stay, Mazda Glen is always pretty nice this time of year. Nicer than the swamp at least. I mean, I, I, it probably has the sun, um, so any place is going to be just a little awful, but it's fine. Um, I'll, I'll keep him safe for you. I'll probably not do as good a job as you, but I can try. You seem like a really good person. I haven't, I haven't known you for long, but we've, we've fought together. You seem like a really good person. Thanks. So do you, and I know you'll be great, so thank you. And then uh, Liliana's going to step back and kind of properly shoulder her her backpack. Oh, uh, Liliana. Hmm? Don't forget, if you're going to be here for much longer, you do have that appointment. I need to find the name of the city. One sec. In uh, Verona. Oh, yeah. I'll probably head there after... I figure out what my uncle wants to do. Maybe you have him come with me. We'll see. Whatever you do, just be careful. Lenore's gonna be coming 
very unsafe in the next few years. Well, I'm sure I'll find some way to to help out. I know my dad wouldn't stand idly by, and I don't plan to either. I just, I want to make sure my family is safe. And with that, she will take her leave. Travel well. Uh, as she uh, departs the camp, uh, Owen will uh, kind of look after her. And before she gets too far, uh, for one last time, he will uh, look skyward and... Uh, say something under his breath and Lily you feel that warmth uh, from within and Lily will cry halfway home <laughs> but she'll when she feels it she'll turn to look back and give a big big wave Owen smiles and waves back and with that you watch as for a couple of moments her silhouette heads further and further back in the direction you came, before disappearing beyond the horizon in the late morning vague dew. And there's a moment of somber realization that kind of dawns in all of this, the ever-altering nature of this dangerous profession you all found yourselves in, and the strange eccentricities of those who come and go every day and every minute. You cannot dwell on it for too long because eventually the ever-present need to deal with the realities around you comes back. And you are forced to once again within your minds and between each other confront that need to deal with the open threads that you have left so far. With that, you guys are packing up your things and beginning to head north? Some of us. Uh, also, uh, uh, Owen, after after Lily <coughs> disappears beyond the horizon, he, uh, he turns to Evian and he holds out his unbuckled sword and he says, What about you? Oh, I, oh. I, I plan on staying for a little bit longer, at least. Oh, that's good. Care to hold on to something for me? If you trust me. Uh, Owen just holds out a sword. And Evian will, will grab it and hold on to it. Walker will also produce a uh, handful of documents. Let's see. He'll pull out the handful of documents, look between Evian, Simon, <laughs> Ishri. Eyes oh, rest on Simon, shakes his head, goes up to Ishri. Mind holding onto these? Uh, sh sure, yes. Thanks. Just can't have them seeing those if they decide to go through my stuff or something. Oh, of course, yes. Uh, she just puts them in her bag, yeah. 
Nice. Oh, um, Simon, do you want to hold on to this for me? Uh, and of course. <laughs> hold. Uh, Rom will hand over the uh, the brooch. Well, I probably wouldn't do it. to have them be found with magic items and such. Yeah, that, not that, that Walker glares at Mari. Not glares, but like stares pointedly at. I'm leaving the cup <laughs> and the potions. <clears throat> And he'll just he just takes his backpack off and sits on the ground. And and I guess if if this is rare and valuable, it should stay too. And just like chuck off the shatter steel shirt. Um, do you want to hold on to this for me, Ishri? Uh, sh- sure. Yes. I, I'm not gonna take any of this stuff out of my inventory. I'm just that's okay. Yeah. My pit. Yeah. What's in her bag? So, you guys unload all of your writs, all of your important papers, anything else that sticks out, anything specific that needs to be noted. I assume for Amari that will be all of the potions and things. Uh, the short sword's gone. His crossbow's gone. Bolts are gone. And his entire back he, he's 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 pretending to be destitute. Okay. So he's leaving literally every eh, literally everything is off his person. Ooh, kicking it old school like in session zero. I, I think that might be wise <laughs> for all of us. Or like if like one of us has like an empty bag, you know? Well yeah, I'm I'm gonna leave, has, like maybe I'm gonna one leave. dagger. Well I can't <laughs> I gave away all three of my daggers already. Yeah, all, all, all the weapons went to the Cerisians. Uh, in in place of of in place of Owen's sword, uh, even will hand him a dagger. Uh, I'm gonna leave all my fancy clothes and my drugs. And their drugs. Give me a wisdom safe. No. <laughs> nice <laughs> night. Uh, Owen also oh. needs to leave. Uh, he leaves his uh, the flower that he has worn pinned uh, above his heart. Uh, he leaves that with Simon. Uh, but he does not uh, take off his charm or his necklace. Awesome. Should I take my writ just in case? No. Mm, Leave no. It. Okay. Anything and everything that can incriminate you or go against the story. Alright. You should leave your crossbow as well. That's what I'm... It's right there. It's kind of like kicks it. Like, it doesn't kick it, but like taps it with his foot. Taps it to acknowledge <laughs> where it, it is. Just the way across the fucking game. Just kicks it. It's goal! It. <laughs> it goes fucking 20 feet and breaks against the rock. Now. No! I did. I found you all back near the uh, Moonlight Divide. I shared the food that I got from the Intelier and hunted more for you all before bringing you back to the fort. Told you that they wished to speak with you, and they had a lead on where to find him, and he kind of nods towards Is that we understood? All came of our own accord. And Eliana left before I found you. Aye. Let's get to it then. Let's. Uh, Walker would begin leaving the cave. You leave your half overhang, half cave that you have called home for way too many days in this campaign in general. Uh. And so staying behind is Ishri, Simon, Evian. Yep. Liliana heads away, and Walker takes Amari, Owen, and Rom with him. He's gonna mirror, do a kind of like zigzag so he's not walking directly towards the road. Get on it and then start leading that way. All right. With that, who would like the first scene? Team sitting or team walking? I believe Amari said he was gonna be right back, so let's do team sitting. All right. In that All case, right. also gonna use the restroom. As <laughs> Ishri, you, Simon, and Evian with. Your newfound bounty of loot in 
entrusted oh to you guys. Yes, um, sir. <laughs> Why are you so oh, no. I can hear the fucking smile. <laughs> uh, they head off in a rough, meandering pattern following Walker, and eventually you lose sight of them, and you don't know how long they'll be gone. It could be an hour, it could be a day. What are you guys doing? How is everyone looking? Like, clothing-wise, ripped apart, dirty, Evian? Evian is a patchy, <laughs> dirty piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you, you guys have had a day already, so if if that's something you would have dealt with during your okay, day true. of downtime when you were doing your long rest, that's fine. True. Yeah. Evian is a slightly less dirty, slightly less patchy piece of shit. <laughs> It's still blatantly a repaired cloak with an arm missing, though. With uh, just horrible blood stains all over the chest. <laughs> That's disgusting. Thank you. I only own one pair of clothes, man. Uh, you should, if you don't mind. Yes, um, yes, yes. Can I... Can you, like, sit over here? And then, like, there's probably a rock or something along the wall. Um, but um, then, before I do anything, do I know her race? Have I ever seen it before, or is it not a common? Or, I, I'm sorry, have I you forgot. ever seen her race before? <laughs> yeah. No. Okay, yeah, so Simon would definitely want to do this. Um, but if you could just sit over there. This is purely scientific, don't question it. <laughs> she gives you a weird look, but you know, it's it's kind of her base level of confusion, so she just yeah. sits in the rock, yeah. <laughs> Uh, what, what's why? I just it sounds weird. I know. I just, I'm gonna draw you real quick, and then break out a book, and is in his ink, and start <laughs> left, and start like start sketching. So um, haven't really seen anybody like you around here, and well, at all. Just so you, you document. So, oh. I mean, I, I knew you all seemed quite surprised when, um, when you saw me, but none, absolutely none. No? Uh, by chance, are you okay eating things around here, or is there certain things you like more than other things that you've had so far? Well, I, um, I have been living on my own for a while, and, um... Do you prefer living on your own? Uh, it, uh, it has allowed, you know, I, um, it's allowed some time for, for personal reflection. Yes. Li living, living on my own. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, though I, I will say it is, it is nice to talk to people again. Um, yes, I've, I've lived off of, um, purified food for a very long time. I've, I, I no longer am at risk for, um, you know, getting diseases from not eating enough, you know, lemons or something. So it's, it's fine. I've lived off that. You get diseases for not eating lemons. Okay. Well, yes, yes. Things like that. Yeah. You know, yeah. The, the sort of things I, uh, yeah. Have you, yes. So what, why are you? Drawing? Is this? Do you have a, a a collection of sorts that you are gathering information for as well? It's, like your no, your the flame tenders? It's just basic research. Uh, things I don't know about. I like to do some research on it or write down the book and stuff. Um, I I there's a item that I have that no one really likes, and then we'll pull it out. <laughs> um, the flesh binder. A what? It's, I'm not reading the Ben's stupid name for it, but it's called the Flesh Binder. It's a um, it's a small wand, about a foot and a half long, so that with a sewing needle and a black thread worn around it. <coughs> um, we found this on some knolls. Basically, what it does is uh, there's a dead what's it called? Sorry, humanoid. Um, you can bring it back. Like a zombie, like. Oh, I would. Guess it becomes kind of like a butler if you think about it like that. Oh. And I hope you never 
plan on using that. It's more of a Mari we have to worry about, I feel, but... I I've personally only had bad experiences with the undead. Would not recommend. I've, I've had yeah. a lot of experiences, and they've been largely, largely bad. Yeah, I'm not really But most... We might either um, want to get rid of that. It's. I want to get rid of it safely, Avian. Yeah, I told you. Of course. She's going to detect magic on the wand. So you yes. watch her blink and then open her eyes, and they're like, the, the pupils are gone and they're just glowing. If I can tell what she's doing before, can I just say what it is out loud? I mean, you would tell as she's doing it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah too late. Um, but obviously, it's not identification, but what you do get is a very strong aura of necromancy coming from it. Hey, Ven. Yep. Oh, no. Do I know what would happen if you were to break a wand in half? We've, went, we've been over this. Uh, well, I didn't remember. Mitchell doesn't It's remember. incredibly hard to break magic items without them being disenchanted. Gotcha. So basically, to break this item, I would have to disenchant it, or like the swords. Do you know how to do that? Well, of course. I just need an area to do it. Right. But so that won't, might, might not be for a while. That you have this. Walker does. Yeah, everyone should know. Would you... Uh, I I have very... Mm, I, wasn't, I wasn't the most book wasn't really a book person and so my my knowledge of uh, magical things is mostly limited to what i can do and the gifts that i have been given but mm -hmm. could i not dispel the magic on it for a moment and then we break it in half while the magic is dispelled that work then <laughs> it may uh okay, should i ch do an arcana check or, I mean, I should know this. I I know like. Um, yeah, I would say. Chanting stuff was my my go to. Um, I would say. Yeah, give me an Arcana check. Um, uh, if she is referring to a spell that just is a the basic concept of dispelling magic, um, it's not really powerful enough to dispel permanent enchantments like this. Okay. Um, With it can be used to break like other spells and sometimes yeah. arcane effects that are uh, on people, things like that. But as for enchantments like this, normally that kind of magic is useful in a like dispel magic as a catalyst spell while you're enchanting is the basis for how disenchanting magic items works. So, so it. Are you talking about the spell, or do you have a separate? Yes, method? yes. It would it would just be a, a simple, you know, spell. It, that that wouldn't work. Oh, that Sorry. Would, uh, well, you are the expert. Again, not not really my my thing. Um, you can tell she's getting a little antsy just sitting this long. <laughs> when when Ishri <laughs> says expert, Evium just gives Simon a, a a very pained look. <laughs> I'm guessing Simon will not even notice that, so I pay no attention because he's kind of focused. Is he not an expert, e Evian? I... Simon looks over to Evian. <laughs> <laughs> Am I uh, not an Evian, expert? Evian will just hold his hands up. Ben to school, Evian. I, I, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but I do know what I'm didn't talking you, about. Didn't you illegally drop out of school? Well... See the state that we're in, Evian? I couldn't just leave. I'm just saying. So wait, you were you were on the path to becoming an whatever the equivalent of a flame tender is, and you just the, the you just left? Spider. And you yeah. just left? You Their methods um, weren't the best. In in this in this country, in Lonor, um Soul Striders are not seen by the common people as a good thing. Uh, yeah. mo they more act as a very effective 
they're I'm just trying to put the correct words together. Yeah. It's um not so much a police force. Um like the generals of the of the military and things like that. Uh very strong magic users usually. Actually hundred percent of the time. You if we ever see one, um they're wearing a cloak roughly like this one. Um, but if you see something like this, you should definitely duck your head for trying to be seen. They can read your mind, they can do a lot of things. I, I, I am just surprised that they, that you were, you were on a path that you were destined to be a part of and you, and you, you were still able to leave. That's just, uh, it's just astounding to me. Really. So but soldiers I... do not do not get their abilities from any sort of faith. They are not granted their abilities. Well, then, if I... if I, I believe, I think. And some yes, some no, some work very hard. Some are just gifted with it. There is. It is, it is not necessarily given to them by a god. Uh. It... No. Sometimes sure. yes, but <laughs> if you were if you were not gifted, I'm not very good at explaining. If you were not I was gifted, not gifted. Then then how do you have magic if it's not a blessing from the Zerg- Zerg- Pulled out his a very thick black book. Yeah. And he opens it up and pretty sure all, all the pages are black. <laughs> that black uh, are are just like empty. Uh, yes, I you I, don't I, I, see anything written on the mystery. It is a blank book. I got it from this. <laughs> I I know I said I didn't really like books, but this this looks a little bit harder than most books that I've seen to read. I, I, uh, uh, this one um, gives me spells during full moons sometimes. Uh, the the words will light up in the moonlight. But then I and guess that is a blessing what of sorts. I to escape the school. Because I I didn't I couldn't do magic when I was there. And they were trying to force it into me. Thinking that near near death experiences would spark it. And since since this magic isn't part of Lenore, or the sun god got the actual name well um technically is illegal and I if they see me with this book or they just see me more likely I will be killed and that is why we call you onyx yes I I am amazed by your bravery for, for leaving that's just I, I, I cannot even imagine it must take a lot of strength of character really I'm in shrugs. I kind of had to do what I had to do. I didn't want to suffer any longer. Yes, but, but a lot of times it's easier to just, you know, go with whatever's in front of you, your destiny. You know? I guess this was my destiny then. Being this book. She smiles at that. And you, Evian, you have no magical abilities, right? Because you, you said that some do not, correct? Um, no, a majority of us do not have any magical capabilities. Uh, this, is Me, a, I... this is a decently uh, gifted group. I can always teach you, Evian, if you want to, I mean. I have absolutely zero desire to know any sort of magic. I think he could take care of himself as is without any additional blessings. Though you, I might need to stick near you so you don't, you know, die again. Normally, I do a bit better. Um. Never mind. 
So we are... What? Once we have finished getting the... She, like, pauses for a second. H horses. Um, yes, horses. Um, we are going to people's families, c correct? Uh, I believe we are headed to... I'm not even completely sure. I think we might stop in Arya, but Either. depending on how this all goes, we could yeah. skip Arya and go to Dresswood for... I think I think the plan is to stop in Arya and restock, and then head to both Dresswood and at some point Monster Glen. I think at so. least one of those. I know Dresswood is almost a for sure for Walker. Can they not take care of themselves? Do they, they not have they, other people to look? They, yes, they yes. can, but there is a there is a war coming and. If, if possible, I believe people want to get their families out of the country where it may be safe. I just don't know if I can even see my family. That's a choice I have to think about heading there. It's very, you know, strange. Um, we don't really have much of a concept of family. Where I come from, and it, it's, it's, it's strange that you all would put aside what else she would be doing for the sake of a few people, but I I guess if you would also leave your destiny as she uh, looks to, to Simon I I guess there are a lot of different things, I guess So are, do neither of you have people who you need to take care of? You said Simon, you can't go to see your family but Evian, you have no one who needs your uh, help? I, as, you, as you ask that, um there's just a little, just a tiny little flash of sadness in his eyes. Um, most of the, the people I care for are very far. I see. Well, I am also very far from anyone who I would care for, so... I understand. That is true. Yeah. How long are you trying to? How long are you planning? I should say, stay with us, Ishri. Well, I, <laughs> I have no way of getting back, right? So, you all seem to have gotten to the Shadowfell once and gone back once. Um, so I, I, I bet you all could get back again. I apparently can't trust other spellcasters because they may be, you said, militant police. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah probably bad um not sure really what either of those words mean but I, I understand uh i get the concept avoid them um i you were all placed in front of me by, by noriho and i i thought that it was my destiny to bring you back to the citadel and and maybe it still is i'm not sure but regardless my destiny is with all of you so as as long as you need my help and we're not doing anything that's you know bad you all seem to be genuinely good people, though, so far, so. Though Evian has apparently killed many people. No, uh, no, no, no. Thousands. Misunderstanding there, I did not kill a single person on that ship. Oh. I am uncertain of why he's saying that there are ten plus dead, seeing as there were two people on the ship and that neither of them burned with it. I know there is there is war here, but I would really hate to have to kill someone. Hmm. Unfortunately, there is. Um... Well, if it ever gets to the point of your life or theirs, are you willing to take theirs? I mean, who are they though? Is there, is their life worth more than mine? Are they more skilled or more talented or able to contribute more to the community than I? Because then I would sacrifice for them. Yes. Say they just shot Evian in the chest. Probably being a dick. Probably, but that's beside the point. I. I mean, I would you prefer. Him? I mean, yes, of course, I would defend him, but I would prefer to incapacitate someone and. That that would. Well, I guess you don't have a. What we um, normally try to do. We try not to kill. Good. 
I've never uh, actually seen. I mean, I was a part of one banishment back when I was a guard, but even then, you just throw them out into the wilds, and you you know they're going to die, right? And you you know you have a place in causing their death because very rarely are they trained in survival. But I feel like something different taking someone's life. But I I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Yes. I will do what I must, and I will keep you all safe. Nuriho has put you with me for a reason. I'll keep you all safe. Ishri. Y- yes, yes. Any chance that uh, you'd mind handing over to those those papers that Walker handed you? Why? Someone Just looks over at Evian. I mean... Uh, we all trust each other with he... our lives. It's What matters a few documents. Why don't you just ask him to see them? Why do you have to ask me? Didn't know he had them. I mean, what are you even gonna do? Read them? Fuck, wait, are they in Lenorian? <laughs> I know, that's why. <laughs> 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 I have to think, make a decision, goddammit! <laughs> You. Ishri, what is he going to do? Read them? I mean... I, I cannot read Lenorian, so chances are they won't be much use. I'm just curious. I, uh, uh, she looks... Oh, fuck. This is mostly a Hannah decision of weighing values. God <laughs> damn it! I... Uh, uh, <laughs> this is one of the worst decisions I've had to make. Uh, uh, <laughs> which it is zero stakes. Um, I mean, one is I mean, in cars, you, by the way. You did say that you would. I mean, it is it is just a thing? Yes, it is. It's just a thing. I mean, I'm sure he just gave them to me for safekeeping. Yes, but it was so the others would not rifle through them, right? That he gave them to it me. Might, it might just be so that the, the guards... Yes, yes. Have a hand in yes, them. yes, yes, of course. Of course. She's gonna... Uh, <laughs> she's gonna get up. Simon has a big up. smile. Let's <laughs> go. Oh no! I worked so hard to force Walker's friendship and I've just lost it. And... <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> She's gonna have the paper seat. <laughs> yes. Um. Anything in Lenorian that I can't read. Can, if you need help, I will, let me I will give to Simon. <laughs> She's gonna look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, you watch cards. as like a couple of schoolgirls going through a bullied girl's back. No, no. Simon is not like oogling over him. He's just kind of like sitting back, still drawing Ishri, and then I imagine even going, uh, Simon, I, I, hey, I can't can read you, this one. Can you read this? <laughs> Yes. Thank you. All right. Of the pay. So, are you guys <laughs> reading all of them? Yes. Yes. <laughs> you sure you would look over your shoulder if any of them are learned in Lenorian. She would like kind of look at them curiously. You uh, know. Three are written in Lenorian. Nice. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. So, <laughs> oh. uh, the first one is a writ of horse ownership written in Lenorian, signed by Antir J. Spilingo that signs over Sherry the horse to to Walker. <laughs> To Moses Walker, I believe. This, did he get, did fucking Mitch give Moses Walker? I think so. Yeah. No, All right. no, no, he uh, said just Walker. Oh, he did just say uh, Walker? Just right. Walker. Yeah. We'll go, we're go for the Lenorian ones first. Okay. The Lenorian ones first. The next one's a note from Jakeman, which I apparently Uh-oh. don't have written down here, which is cool. Let me look for my notes from Ben. Real cool. <laughs> I'm quick. so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm, no, he wanted this. I did damn well know there's a reason. The thing he is, gave William wanted this. Walker didn't. That's no. That's Walker the is gonna there. is gonna be not be happy. We're just no, not gonna I, say anything. Gonna know. He's not gonna know. Exactly. No, no one will ever know. Okay, where the Walker's fuck? awful at insight checks. And this this is this is team liar here. Uh, <laughs> we all have, we all have really have good charisma. The... Right? Oh, it's in my notes. Okay. No. I, I made a <laughs> low charisma. I made a <laughs> really low charisma paladin, guys. I made four. All right. The uh, next one is it's a okay, note uh, that has Thank a you. stab mark in it from a dagger. 
Uh, it says... Walker got angry. Uh, Lori, I owe you one. You're an absolute sweetheart. Walker, I love you, man. You're like a brother to me. Keep on keeping on, friend. Fuck that loser. Right? Hang on, this put, that my, put that in my fucking inventory real quick. Just so I so far, nothing it. new. Upsetting. Um, it, it is uh, vaguely weird that this is technically the first interaction between Hannah's character and Kim's character in a weird way. <laughs> uh, the next one a is note. a uh, longer letter that I think is written in relatively nice handwriting. It says, in Lenorian, Walker, the others and I can't sit by and do nothing with the lives of hundreds, including Evian's father, in our hands. I was the one who mentioned the Scions to the Golden Cloak. I thought that maybe it would shift his interest to them and away from us. I suppose it worked, but not in the way I had hoped. You said before that actions have consequences, and you're right. But I think that the way you face those consequences shows what kind of person you really are. And the path the four of you have chosen to take is not something that I or the others can live with. I know you're not heeding my words, but please do not be so quick to judge these men. If fighting for freedom and a better tomorrow is so terrible in your eyes, then I fear that we may never be able to stand side by side again. We have never spoken of why you became a bounty hunter, but for some time now I have suspected that you don't do it for selfish reasons. It isn't much, but consider this a gift put towards your goal. Farewell, my friend. Owen. Yep. And the last... Uh, Nick, I'd just like to interrupt for a second. Very well written, Nick. <laughs> Dude, thanks! I'm glad somebody else got to read it. It was very good. Every, it's out in the open for everyone now. That's... Uh, <laughs> there you go. It's my, the dirty laundry is all out in the open. The, the uh, dad's the last breakup one, letter. Time for uh, Garland. The last one is written in Garish. Yes. Uh, Evian uh, will read this one out loud. <laughs> You know what? You know what? So Send it to him. Let's read. let him read the fucker. Go and read it, buddy. Give, give oh, it a read for everyone, God. buddy. You're like, fuck. You're like, oh, God, no. Mm -mm. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Um, this is addressed to Moses slash Hortel. Uh, it says, I hope this letter finds you well. I hope this letter finds you at all. I hope so much that you're both still well, and more than anything, I hope so much that I'll see you too soon. I feel like I should not be reading this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you... Oh, if, 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 oh, if it's, if it's, mm -hmm. we can, we can. No, can... yeah, this looks like personal mail. <laughs> <I'm> just <laughs> maybe I'll just put it back into the stack and hand it back over to e -Tree. <laughs> Yeah, because it wasn't personal when it was from Owen. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, I thought we were gonna get that whole letter read out. Oh, <laughs> well, someone read, someone's read it all. That's all I'm saying. But everything, everything is good, right? We're all, we're all yeah, good. No, yes, no, no, no. Yes? Everything okay, is good. Great. Good, good, great, good. fantastic. Good news, mostly. <laughs> good, good. I, I meant to ask. Wow, uh, I realize when we go into a city, um. We're probably going to need uh, someone. I, I probably should be covered. You have a cloak. May I? May I borrow that when we go into the city? Is, she, is that okay? You, are you talking to Evian? Yeah. Do you have a cloak? I feel like this that was disgusting, described. ratty <laughs> piece of shit. I can clean it. Simon, Ishri is writ writ right. Ugh, god damn it! Wearing um, what looks like almost like a patchwork of clothes that have been mended and put together over the years, mm -hmm. even though she keeps the armor bits clean. Uh, I kind of forget that I'm wearing it most of the time. You can just have it if you want. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes. There, I the mean, right I, arm, I, there is no sleeve. The right arm is just completely gone. begin undressing. A death. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just, keeps his pants on. Damn. <laughs> I just, I, I, I think it'd be important for me to be, to cover my face. Yeah, that is, city. Yes. Well, definitely. actually, Good. in hindsight, I am also wanted. Oh, shit. Um, just remember, we're, we're all technically wanted. Oh, that's why we're in this cave. That I feel is like Ishri, Ishri would have totally remembered that. <laughs> Anna's the stupid one. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure someone else has a cloak that I can I can, I can, can use. Oh, she hands back the ratty cloak. Oh. Evian puts back on his shitty cloak. Would you like me to... Oh, no, you have... Simon can mend it. Never mind. I was gonna there offer. Is only, but I feel like... There is only so much this piece of shit can. He just keeps ripping off the sleeves. 
<laughs> it's not a, the last one was not my fault. I I was there. I know. She would probably also have a big. I think she also took one, if I remember correctly, but like the shoulder. So she'd probably also have a, a very torn up uh, so cloak that's been vaguely arcanely repaired of late. So. Uh, Evian, or I, I guess Simon as well. Any any of you, if you would like, um, you all have some fantastic abilities that I have I have not been exposed to before. Would anyone like to? I, I just I can't sit for this long, and I really feel like we should really make the most of our time while we're waiting here. Would someone like to train for a bit? Jesus Christ, you just talked so fucking fast. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was impressive. I mean, if you and Evian want to bar, go ahead. But magic usage is probably not the best idea. Don't want to accidentally melting someone's face. I guess. I, I haven't really been, um... <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really been exposed to fighting people with magic before. Usually the things I fight are, are actual monsters and undead, and those don't usually possess magic, so... I mean, I can always be on deck to stop one of you. I mean... <laughs> I <inflected>. oh. <laughs> cool. Better go ahead, if you guys want to fire. I mean... Fuck it. I am, I am, I will warn you, I was never very good. Um, with just with not using my weapons, I was I was trained to rely oh, on no, my weapons. Um, if stuff. we maybe want to get you a big stick or something, so I don't believe that. No, no, I would I would like to learn. I would like to learn. I would oh, I to really like to learn. Oh, without yes. weapons. Yes, yes. It, it, you're very impressive, and I'd, I'd I'd like to learn. I feel like it's a skill that I should also try to develop um, myself. My main um, practice is not. Recommended by most. Um, normally, punches are to be thrown with precision. Um, I more rely on brute strength. I have some brute strength. I, if you, whatever you can teach me, would be fantastic. Sure. Um, and for the for the next couple of hours, uh. Since Mitchell has no fucking idea how to throw a punch, you think I've been in a fight before? No. Um, <laughs> I got Doc, I can tell you about punches. That's okay. Um, actually, yes. Um, Give me a minute. Evian will, will teach Ishri the basics of unarmed combat. Yeah, and, and the same as when she was, like, learning how to, like, hunt in this world from Walker. She's, like, asking a ton of questions, and she's, like, having you repeat things and trying things out. Um... If anyone ever gets hurt, I guess she'll heal them, but I, I doubt we'll get to that point, so I think, yeah. If anyone gets decked in the face, I'm going to collapse a few times. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> He's like, yeah! Oh. Punch it, let's go! So, as you begin <laughs> this sparring session in which, uh... Ishri, you've known people to fight hand-to-hand, by hand to hand. like, even if not their main method, like... Though it wasn't your forte, there were people who knew how to, if they were separated from their weapon, still had a very good ability to defend themselves. Yeah, I, I would guess his fighting you know. style is more crude than that. It's not get around their defense and find an opening, it's punch harder. And if that doesn't work, punch harder. Surprisingly effective. But not what you expect and, um, of someone who is a master unarmed combatant. And his, uh, his, his, one of his things is fight as dirty as you can. If there's a fucking, if there's a broken bottle on the ground, use that. Oh. With that, we will go back in time to party of Owen Walker, Amari, and Rom heading to Fort Siege. Hello, it's me, Walker. Not suspecting have... any anyone's betrayed him recently <laughs> at all whatsoever. <laughs> oh, they haven't yet. So, Not that's yet. good. I mean, you could argue that the, I this mean, party's real quick, real quick, can I just say that Simon puts the letters back as perfectly as he can? Wait, can we get a deck check? Why is that perfect? I don't think he's that perfect. Check. He does. Are you like, doing it when Ishri watches too? 
Yeah, like every like everyone sees Simon. Like, all right, let's make it seem like we didn't do what we just did. What is, okay, so give me what give me an intelligence check. What did Ishri do as soon as you took the letters? You said just toss them in her bag, right? Yeah, she tossed them in her bag. Yeah, I don't think Walk expects him to be extremely. I mean, neat well, is there any steel? You. Is there? Is well, no, there no, no. It was an okay. opened letter. Uh, what, what was Owen's note? It was just like a piece of parchment that was folded. folded up. It was folded yeah. over with a, a bunch of over. money on top of it, and it was like I'm just, under I'm your just elbow making sure that they're folded properly. That one's like a no, it's like just a flat piece of paper, and yeah. the other ones, a, you know, t like a like a note that was hold hanging up on a tree by. Well, a what I meant bag. was that if it's folded a certain way, it went back folded okay, properly. No problem. So you do your best to emulate it in the same way that it was. Why no are you problem. taking so much time to put that back? Just put it back in there. <laughs> Simon does well, that. It's an Ishri bag, right? Mm hmm. Just <laughs> put it back, man. It doesn't. <laughs> He's trying to make it look like it was. <laughs> yeah, she, she can take the fall. It's easy. Oh, God. Everyone's got to be a fall guy by the end of this for something. <laughs> well, oh, no. So, Walker, you lead your allies through the wilderness once more as a sense of deja vu comes upon you as you all are to reach Fort Siege. A moment passes. You see a... As you're... You know, you can see the walls cresting over the horizon of the fort. And you immediately see as a couple of men on horseback start riding out to you. Not at a gallop, but, you know, at a quick trot. Do I just like recognize the fucking horses? Oh, don't you fucking! I, oh, don't uh, I, Walker, don't Walker, you, Walker is you guys one of them. <gasps> Walker is complete. Which out of one is it, Ben? <laughs> uh, wait, what, what was that, Walker? Which one is it, Ben? <laughs> I, I, I need to. Uh, William was saying something. I cut him off. Uh, Walker is at the front. His hands are where the guards can see them. He is not making any sudden moves. And he wants to know which one the horse is. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, well, if you wanted to know, then in that case, uh, it is Calf How. Calf How! Boy! <laughs> Owen, oh. who is walking level with Walker, not behind him, scowls as he sees the horse. Okay. <laughs> and they head up to you, and one of the guards just kind of comes up to the side and just kind of looks. Uh, oh, shit! It's. You're the other one who spoke with um, with the officer the other day, right? I and, was. Uh, okay, Nist. That looks. I, I was. Uh, I did as they asked, and of. Um... And like, Street. there's a nervous moment where like you can see him immediately kind of scanning for like shackles for the people you're with and things like that. Hey, you it... um, you you got them, man. Eh? The back. Yep. Uh, they mentioned they wanted to. Um... The magic user mentioned he wanted to speak to them. Nobody's got no one. Came of our own accord. Uh, of course, of course. And he kind of like right. rears the horse back about five feet and starts kind of strafing uh, from like, it was on like your right hand side and kind of strafes left going behind you. Get on then. Uh, head on in. We'll follow Is you he... up the rear. Is he the one riding calf hours at the other? Ah, uh, no, he is riding a different horse that you don't recognize. The other, uh, the other uh, guard on calf how, uh, heads up to him and they whisper something, and then the one riding calf how begins heading south very quickly. Uh, before he leaves, Owen kind of like sets his shoulders and crosses his arms, makes eye contact with the man. Which one? And he's the one on uh, calf on, on okay. yeah. Okay. And he says, uh, kind of gruffly, That horse doesn't belong to you. And it turns back. Excuse me? What, do you need me to say it again? He looks confused. Walker stays distinctly out of this conversation. Sir, uh, pardon me, but our party left those horses with y'all at the fort to take care of. I don't. For a couple days. I only arrived in the 
platoon that came here to reinforce. I don't know anything about no horses. Well, see, you don't gotta get mad at him, honey. We'll just have some words with whoever's in charge up there. He's riding south. He's not going to be there when our property is returned. There's a, a moment of, like, awkward tension in the air, and he kind of, like, uh, orders his orders, I need to go, and begins heading south on Kafau again. Well, Fairly hold on quickly. a minute now. Why don't you take his horse, and he can take ours back to the fort? The other guy just... All right, all right, come on, come on, let's go. Point. And uh, the man on the other horse is just kind of, like, motioning for you guys to keep going. They'll Walker be back in an hour or so, okay? Let's go. I'm sorry, the the guardsman is going to be back in an hour? Uh, yes. The the one who seems to be in charge is telling you that the one riding Kafau will be back in an hour or so. <laughs> do we, do we believe him? Well, give me an insight check. <laughs> yeah, fuck this guy, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, you roll it blind. You need to re-roll that. Well... <laughs> I don't fucking know. Rom, fucking... I, I, it's military shit, probably, huh? Oh, oh, and yeah, it seems... Seems like he's telling the truth. They just ordered him to do something minor. Uh, with your knowledge of procedure and military things, he probably was just ordered to scout out the area and make sure there's no one else with you guys. Owen's oh, scowl deepens, but he just... He says... Very well. He continues Guy's walking already heading on off. his own towards the fort. And a moment later, you guys are within the fort, and there are maybe 15 bow and arrows and crossbows, not trained on you, but drawn. Walker's from the walls, standing. from various places, just kind of while the people are watching you. Walker's distinctly standing not next to the group. Not the three of us who are unarmed, dirty, bloodied, and probably stinky. Potential mages. Hey. Hmm? Um, so, a moment passes and you see Officer Akinson, the one who you spoke to originally, Walker, come out. And... Walker nods to him. Hello. Um, wasn't, wasn't expecting this quite so fast. Um, I was able to I was able to find them, shared those rations you gave you guys gave to me. I mentioned to them that you had a lead base a lead for um that missing person. Hmm. Well done. He uh you can see he uh he looks to one of the other guys and we just whistles him over and Oh, go get the man his money. The other guard nods and heads back into the fort and guides you guys to that same table that you sat at, the one in the center of the fort under the nice tree. Is Walker, like, is he trying to bring Walker with him, or is Walker being ushered to stand with the others? Um, they're not really giving you any commands. The other three, they're kind of guiding, and they just kind of, like, moved around you like you don't exist, kind of. Walker, are they, what is their attitude? Are they, like, surrounding us with weapons drawn? Or? No, no, no one's drawn their weapons yet, but there's there's tension and nervousness by a lot of the guards, though Officer Akinson seems less so than most of the others. Uh, is he is he moving over there with them as well? Or? Yeah, he's he and about three other guards are heading over. At this point, Walker will just stand where he was and just watch them all as they move off. And, uh, he sits down and, uh, just kind of... What happened? What, um... Motions. He motions in the general direction of Walker, who at this point, I'd imagine, is probably 30 feet away or so. He probably Arms told you what had happened. <laughs> towards you. And, uh, he probably told you what happened, so... We may skip the formalities. Just tell me... Please be honest it's been a long few days it has where do you want us to start we have 
I have a reason to believe that someone traveling with you attacked this fort and killed well over half a dozen of my friends. Well, we have a good idea of who that might be. His... Rob does for blind, he did. His eyebrows raise a bit. Well, can't you see what we look like? And she just, like, pulls out her shirt and gestures. You look like you've been in the swamp for days. Well, why don't we go inside and we'll tell you all about it. What is wrong with this beautiful table? It's a nice day. The shade. Oh, uh, that, w- that was an Alex stupid, yeah. not a Rom stupid. <laughs> Sorry. Um... Well, see, we met all of us a long time ago. Maybe not a lot. It seems okay, like a maybe long not time that ago. far back. Fucking hell! Oh, it just seems long. like a long time ago. You you know how time is kind of funny when you're traveling. It, it was at the uh, the festival in that, Dumrock. That n- right, you met him. You all met. We're all kind of strays. Looking for, you know, family Adoption. that you choose, not the family that's, you know, by blood, I... strength in numbers, that kind of thing. He told us stories about who he was, but we don't know if they was true or not. What did he tell you? We said his name was Evan, and that he was from the South. But he never, you know, specified. Those aren't stories. Uh, <laughs> this long pause would not be happening in character. This is just my brain short circuiting, okay? <laughs> He just got stares. <laughs> Alex, I can't <laughs> oh, Come on, oh, man. I'm oh, not good at this. God. I should not have made a charismatic character. Don't, you know, just, just sort of little things like, oh, me and my little brother used to argue over this wooden horse. And he had a little brother. Did I he went... speak of him? Not by name. Not really. I mean, I didn't talk much about my family either. Who is your family? I haven't talked to him in a long time. I'd prefer not to. I did not ask when you spoke to them, only who they are. Is that important? That's something that matters? He kind of gives- He kind of gives, like, an almost cocky, like, half-joking smile. You said you were gonna start at the beginning. (laughs) Well... (laughs) We're trying to tell you what happened, and... Do, no do, do, you, do you want me to go off on a tangent, look, look, or do you want look, me to just look. keep talking about and he this like, guy? And he, like, leans in. Look. When the anterior is informed, and he comes down here, it is going to be a lot worse. He is very pissed. There are a lot of people very pissed. I personally don't believe that he wanted, that this Evan wanted anyone killed. I don't believe that he down a ship with so many people on it intentionally. Well, I mean, he seemed like a nice enough man, and he helped us and everything, uh, up until, you know, he took all our things and ran away. And you have no idea where he was going? Well, we took a little bit of tracks, and they went vaguely this direction, I suppose. He did attack us, he did escape. He had mages with him. Really? A somber nod. They were very powerful. Able to outmaneuver our own arcanist. Who should be along shortly. He is, um, he's resting right now. Took okay. our things. 
That's the last we saw of him. There was no one with him. He wasn't speaking to... You say you came from Dunrock. Well, around about. Stopped in a few places along the way. How long did it take you to get here? Oh, and kind of squints up at the sun. Uh, he would know how long it takes to get from Dunrock to Fort Siege, right? Like, days of travel. Um... Like, like half a month? At a guesstimate, like, are you talking like, str- like if you were trying to go straight there, or... No, like, just taking into account, um, like, our stops along the way. Like, I don't want to, like, you know, fucking tell this guy that we just came straight from Dunrock. Yeah. Uh, but I also don't want to tell him that we were on a ship and then, you know... I mean, came from Star Shore. To be fair, mm-hmm. given how many stops we did do in the direction we went, about a month and a half, it's still like, yeah. you know. Um, but if you were just like at a fairly leisurely pace, probably three to four weeks would be at a, if you were like heading here, but not like killing yourself to get here. Three to four weeks, depending. It took us over a month. And uh, during this time, he did not speak to anyone strange? I mean, what do you mean by strange? He was working with mages. Not that strange. Well, the reason I ask is obviously, you say that he attacked you, abandoned you, something here, and he motions vaguely in a southern direction. At the swamp, yes? I Thread? And then... He came directly here, based on... He, you can see him, like, trying to, like, do the math of calendar time in, in his head based on when you guys dropped off and when Evian attacked. And he kind of... So he must have come right here, right? We've been... He had to have planned that, right? Been he had to have planned that with swamp. these mages he was with. I don't know nothing about no mages. Too much trouble. Mm-hmm. Kind of shakes his head. And he did not speak of... Why are you all the way up here? What is up here for a group of... Um, I'm sorry, what was the word you used? Strays. Strays. Besides, of course, the um, gator hunting. That was it. There's a... There was no better money to be made anywhere else in the country that you ended up in this shithole. When was the last time you went south? You, fuck, that's a good one, Nick, fuck, that's a good one. He just kind of wants to say something, and he just, he just opens his mouth and shuts it again. All right, point taken. It's not, look, it's not that there is nowhere better, but surely you've heard what happened in Dunrock. He he kind of gives that, like, uh, he, he, like, holds his hand out and kind of shakes it, like, yeah... I, I mean, something about strange monsters attacking from the water. Strange monsters? You ask red me, band. it's a bunch of horseshit, just the red band stroking their own cocks. Well, no disagreement there, but the monsters were real. Try it. He has a look of disbelief. For the first time, this is the thing he is confidently not believing you in right now. <laughs> okay, that's... Hmm. Hmm. So we came north. Wanted to get as far away from that place as we could. That's reasonable, I guess. But why not, why not start ashore? Why here? Was that Evan? Did he go by he any other names? He mentioned it a couple times. 
but I mean, it was kind of all of our ideas. Thought it would be a thing of an adventure, I suppose. How wrong we were. He kind of purses his lips a bit. So this, um, Evan, did he go by any other names? No. And he never spoke to anyone strange. You never were <laughs> traveling, making camp, and he left. Never. I mean, we didn't keep track of him. Well, of course, that's Every why I'm asking that. I, I can't ask you to... I can't ask that you would have tracked an ally when they were in their fucking bed, but... You never went for a fucking walk in the night when you had to get up and piss. He should have been watching and he wasn't there. He was always dutiful on watch. Mm-hmm. Like I said, he was helpful to us and that's why we trusted him. Made his betrayal sting all the more. More fools us. I am no expert when it comes to the arcane, but from what I have learned from mostly my good friend Maurice, our resident arcanist, that would mean very powerful magic was being used to communicate with him. You are frankly lucky that you were not killed along with our men to yeah, purses his lips to a cover his tracks. He must have been confident that his allies would be waiting. Perhaps here or on the other side. And that he would not have any worries once he got out. Left us high and dry in the swamp. Perhaps he knew that we wouldn't be able to catch up in time. So lucky that man over there came when he did. Oh, and uh, jerks his chin towards Walker. At this point, I imagine they have gotten Walker his coin, and uh, they are counting it, counting it out with you in a bureaucratic manner, like only the um, Antelier can. And then Walker will immediately count out himself just to yep. make sure. Oh no, they count out with you, and then they are like uh, they encourage you to do so. Oh, it goody. Is, yeah, there is a level of fetishizing bureaucracy to the Antelier that is rarely found elsewhere in the world of Atlium. So you can just see fucking Walker and a guy Walker's counting, counting points. money! Oh, fucking Walker. Walker is still uh, keeping an ear out, though. I will mention. Yeah. So are you... Not to the ground, though. Don't, don't, don't make assumptions. <laughs> what happened to the bear woman? She took it hard. She's they real were. softy. He gives you a very doubtful glance at that. Didn't your mama ever tell you not to judge based on appearances? My mother died in childbirth, actually. So no. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. <laughs> not with me, it was my little brother. I got to know her <laughs> for four very lucky years. He gives a little half smile and kind of like rubs at a ring for a second. Eyes, uh, eyes, uh, pinky. But anyway, well, she took it rough, more rough than we did. She decided to cut ties and head south. He gives this just big sigh. What, um... What would be the... Is there anything you can tell me about this, Evan? Pardon me while Nick searches his brain for innocuous details that he can relay about Evian. 
Say he had a brother. Did he ever... He didn't talk about family. Anything that would point us anywhere to find out where this happened. Why this happened. We're shipping scabbards across the country from the dead. We just want to be able to tell them that we're doing something to avenge the fallen here. Yeah. Hmm. Well. One thing is, I know he's not from Lenore. Based on the innocuous sure. southern statement, I mm -hmm. feel like um, it is fairly confident that we can believe he is a uh, Garish. Perhaps. Other than that, he kind of kept to himself, really. Didn't share too much. Uh, Van, I have- Nick has a question. Yep. Uh, has Owen ever heard of Evian's- Has he ever heard Evian's accent before? Um... Not really. It's like a weird bastardization of a couple of accents of someone who is definitely, like, who picked up an accent much later in life, and it kind of, like, you know, like, if you learned English from watching TV, and, like, it was, like, fucking all you did was watch the Mario Brothers movie, and then you'd sound like fucking Dennis Hoskins. Like, it definitely doesn't sound like any sort of real accent culturally. Uh, and, like, Owen would have had interactions with at least somebody from all the kins, right? Um, yeah, though and the Ark Morta Isles, the, um, Arn Shade, much less so, given their relative freedoms as compared to the rest of them. But, yeah. But they don't they don't sound Russian. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's a heavy accent. But not overtly Russian like that. Um, you definitely could see how someone could get this strange mixture of Evian. Like, imagine him sounding kind of like his father, and then trying to blend in by sounding like he's from the Ark Morta Isles, and you can see that happening through someone who tried to train their voice and just kind of got it a certain way and was like, that's good enough. Uh, Owen just kind of shrugs. Could be from anywhere. I mean, we're about as far from Garland as we could be in Lenore. But you did start in uh, Dunrock, which is much closer to the fighting. Aye. I... Officer, uh... Yes? We saw one of the guards that met us outside the fort on one of our horses. He... kind of looks down a bit and shakes his head a bit. And we were, um... We were under strict orders that, uh... They were to be used or disposed with orders from Verona. You just took our horses? It was not my decision, it was not the Antir's decision. It came from above his head. Courtiers sure. that crunch numbers to justify things out in the fucking palace that have no idea how things go here, no idea why things work and why they don't. They decided someone died. Things are being requisitioned, well, they need to be justified. Surely they're going to be returned now that we've come to collect them. They were, um... There was a report given to a 
messenger who sent it back, and they were, um... They were evaluated based on price for the ones that are not here. What do you mean, the ones that are not here? Two of them were sold. You've gone and sold them? It was not our decision. Well, what are we gonna do now? There are... Three of you? Four of you. There are four of you with, um... Motions to Walker and, like... He's not really sure, like, if he's going with you guys or what. There are three of you and three horses. Hey, Kaya. Blinks. You will, of course, be compensated for the two that are missing. Which ones? <laughs> the, um... The older one. One of the, uh... One of the, um... Platoon that came up to reinforce recognized it as um, possibly stolen and was going to be going and taking it back to wherever <coughs> to see and what happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. go. Who knew Sherry would be our demise? I'm upset. <laughs> I'm so fucking Who knew? mad. And he's and I'm gonna be more upset in a second when fucking Ben mm. tells me what other fucking horse he fucking sold. <laughs> of course, um As I said, uh, they have been justified in price and since you have come back to collect you will be paid compensation for that. Well, I guess I'm that's sure a so. start. The other What's one was the second the, uh, one. The brown one. It was, uh, it was sold to a merchant about four days ago. When they were leaving, they had a horse with a bad leg, and it needed... We did a trade and ten crosses for it. <sighs> My old bud. Well, I guess it can't be helped. Owen, Owen Scowl has returned. As for the other three, um, the large black one has been going through paces up north for a while. We've been sending out search parties to find any trace of Evan, and he kind of looks enunciatingly as he says. And given the speed and the willingness to want to run, and um, frankly the level of quality training that one had. Oh well, hold on just a damn minute here. And now it's my turn to talk to ask you about your timeline. That was what a night or two after we left them. We did not send it out immediately. We didn't get the information until he couple of days after that when we did our requisitions and told the full situation. And where is he now? He kind of looks up and you can see him like trying to guesstimate time based on where the sun is. Doing what Owen was doing earlier? Pretty much. But doing it on a more uh, a smaller scale. Probably out on a, another scouting mission. To see if there is hide nor hair of your friend or anyone else who would consider an attack on this fort. Should be back in a few hours at most. To be fair, I, I do not... We had to take that thing... We had to ride it pretty much daily since you left it because... It got so damned antsy it would attack people if it wasn't running. Owen suppresses... A smirk. Well, this is a fine mess we've gotten ourselves into. I wish there was more I could say about it, but... Um, as I said, it is not... We are not operating as we normally have. Things have changed. We 
We were expecting to get information back regarding, um, the old one, eventually. Find out whether or not it was stolen or what have you. How did you come across that one, anyway? It was is, a, uh... Is, like, wholesale a thing for horses? I'll remind you that we bought several horses that were kind of left at the... A uh, horse thing in one of the in, in Star Shore because um, they didn't have any papers. They were just kind of there. Yeah, no, don't mention Star Shore. Thing. Don't fucking mention Star Shore. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna tell him the truth. Yeah, we got it. We got Sherry as a reward uh, for helping out. Uh, fucking what? What is that name? The problem you, being you, the you name would of the have paperwork. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. yeah. The I name mean, of the paperwork being Walker then ties fucking, him to you. That's fucking Amari's. Problem. No, it's, it's Amari's fault. It's my problem. <sighs> Let me tell you. This well, is... to tell you the truth, we got them from this guy who was trying to get rid of them because they didn't have any papers. So we were selling them for pretty cheap, and that seemed, you know, okay for us since we aren't exactly swimming in money. Mind you, he told us specifically that none of them were stolen because we asked. Well, um, as I said, outside of the one, I mean, the only reason we're even investigating it is because someone used to post up for the Entelier. He kind of thinks again out in... I don't fucking remember. Uh, the Aris, the Tirina, one of those, one of those fucking heartland towns. And that's where they knew the horse from in, uh, in her youth. Well, bless him for recognizing her all these years later. Um, from what, what I gather, not? she has a very unique personality. <laughs> <laughs> Although as a spirited one, she was. In any case, um, you're obviously not under detainment right now, but the, um, the Antiero is going to want to speak to you as well. If you'd like, we can get you a, a couple of rooms, probably a couple hours he's dealing with, uh, a meeting right now. What of, uh, I suppose, I mean, things might have changed, but... Let me but here last, you said you needed help with something. The requirements of pier repairs are much less when we do not have a boat to tie it to. I suppose. He kind of purses his lips a bit. The, the uh... Everything being... As it is right now. I do appreciate the offer. I wish I could take you up on. Were any men injured in the attack? Injured but not killed. Nothing major. No. Nothing more than scuffs, bruises. You know. The things that happen when you're charging after mages into... No, I don't know. He gives like a little half smile and just... You have to realize some of the people here are fucking idiots. They're real fucking idiots. We, um... We actually had someone who, uh... You can tell he doesn't want to tell this story, but, like, he's starting to smile, and he also really wants to tell this story. <laughs> I'm not going to name names for the sake of respect, but we did have someone who, during the attack, they were, um, they were chasing down the beach, these mages in this Evan, who uh, may have been invisible as well. He may have had... Arcane abilities at one point as well, I could not say for sure. But anyway, um... They got a rock stuck in their shoe. 
And then they started to slip and kicked something and cut their toe, and they were embarrassed by it. It got infected and we had to amputate their toe. Is he alright? Imagine. I mean, as long as this story never gets out, he'll be fine. He gives <laughs> a little half smile. I'll never tell. If you've got supplies, I know my way around wounds. Take a look. It is fine now. There's nothing to worry about. He was just being an asshole who was embarrassed that he got hurt. And it cost him. And I think he learned from it. Or maybe That's not. Smart. Honestly, I can't say for sure. And he gives another little half smile. Right, well, um. Obviously, I cannot allow you free reign of the, uh, fort while you're still under any suspicion from anyone. Anyway. And he motions you guys to follow him, where he guides you to similar rooms to the ones you had last time. Uh, it's still, like, really hot outside, right? Uh, it is mid-afternoon, and it's, like, 95 degrees out, and it's humid as absolute uh, balls. I don't want to go in there fucking jail! It's not. There's there's windows. There's a little bit of a breeze. There's windows and doors that lock only from the outside. Yeah. <laughs> Do you mind? Do we at least get something to prop the doors open? Um, Do you mind if we stop by the stables first? Rom, give me a persuasion check. Oh, and give me a persuasion check. <laughs> it's a horse <laughs> thing. It's a horse thing, and I'm going to do so well because clearly, it's a clearly horse an animal handling thing. Check, right? Fuck. <laughs> should, be, should have been animal handling. We all clearly. Don't call Officer Aikinson an animal. He's the only one who's tried to defend you guys so far. <laughs> um, he turns to Rom and just kind of like almost blushes a bit and like, Aram, we have actually been explicitly told not to do that anymore, but we're not really listening. Oh. There's still dicks up in Verona, down in Verona, over there in Verona. Like I said, I'll never tell. Then our secret is safe. Um, I mean, to see the horses, they are in... You may spend a quick second. They are in, uh... They are in good shape. We take good care of ours, our things here. I mean, the only horse of ours that's left there is Patches, right? Yes. We could check on Patches. <laughs> Owen would very much like to check on patches. You head to the stables, and very quickly you can see there are probably, like, the stables are a little overfilled right now. Like, there's well over a dozen horses in the stables right now. Um, they're probably not meant for that many, but, uh, you also get the feeling that those reinforcements had to bring horses to carry some stuff. So... Oh. Uh, a moment goes by and you can see, you eventually see Patches and kind of like, he guides you in and he's like, alright, go on. You go over and Patches vaguely recognizes you in the same way that every animal can vaguely recognize the horse whisperer. It's me. Listen, yeah. <laughs> animals are very good at recognizing different people, especially social ones. Owen will, like horses. Uh, he will, uh, walk up to Patches, uh, as he would an old friend. And he will do the horse whisperer thing where, you know, he starts speaking quietly to the horse and, uh, you know, patting its neck and giving it little little nose scritches uh, and just generally being a weird horse guy. Um, as far as you can tell, Patches is in great health. Um, all the horses here at a glance are in between pretty good and incredible health. Um, 
no immediate rhyme or reason as to like some of them look like they're brushed daily other ones look like they're kept in a more military this is a tool manner but uh Patches is in great shape. Uh, Without asking for permission, Owen casts his gaze around the stable for a brush, and be, if if he finds one, he just begins brushing Patches. Uh, and he kind of was like, "All right, come on, come on." I know it's after we get this all sorted out with the Antir, we can uh, we can go back to giving you your horses and taking care of the ones that were taken. Very well. Trust me, if I had my way, you'd be out of here and the fucking Verona could fuck off for the rest of time. Again, Owen suppresses a smirk. And, uh, a couple of hours go by. Yo, and... <laughs> has the guy ever come, like, talk to Walker? Has anyone tell him to fuck off? Or um, what? I was gonna get to that. Okay, a couple hours. Go ahead. A couple hours go by with you guys in the jail cells. Uh, air quotes, jail cells. Um, Feel that there is really someone. Well. There is someone who's just like in the hallway, half asleep in a chair. One of the many uh, guardsmen. But other than that, it is very laid back. They gave you a few little two by fours, and uh, during this time, Walker, you are given your coin and. Uh, after they have been seen to their cells, Officer Akinson heads over to you and I am appreciative and confident that uh, that things have worked out how they have. I am happy that uh, they seem to have had nothing to do with this. And hmm. Well, that's good. I think I'll stick around if you don't mind. Offer my services to, services to at least get them to Arya once they're um, once they're done there. They do only what's, what's exactly? have three horses getting back. Hmm. They'll probably be able to get back pretty fast with those. With how they're wandering around the swamp. Hmm. I'll at least stick around long enough to ask them. And if not, I can always get back to what I was doing. Give me a persuasion check. <laughs> Look. Hmm. I appreciate what you've done. I feel like we've paid you handsomely, but... Doesn't this feel vaguely like, um... What is it they call it, a... Uh, Fucking barter chasing when the solicitors go to barters after a fight to convince the people who get in fights to sue the bars, that sort of thing. Well, maybe Do you I'll really you think you can make heart. any more money off of them? I mean, don't get me wrong, they seem nice, but... I mean, I've never met a more incompetent bunch of people. They went gator hunting, they got robbed... They look like shit. One of their allies betrayed them. I get that. I didn't say I was going to charge them. I've already been paid. How much? Not. How much did they pay you? Did they no, pay no, no. you? Anything? You paid me. But, I mean, you still they helped them. They wanted me to. Hmm? You still helped them. You got nothing from them? Not yet. That was also something I was going to discuss with them, but... Walker kind of shrugs. I got some bad news, my friend. <laughs> well, either way, seems like it'd be a nice thing to do, at least get him see about getting back to Arya. If you don't want me waiting around here, I can always wait around outside. I mean, it may be for the best. We uh, still got some people on edge, and I don't want too much shit to... Uh, That's fine. Let them know I'll be waiting for them uh, if you do get a chance to speak to them again. I'll tell them, assuming the anti lets them go, which I fucking hope he should, I'll tell them that you'll be waiting. Uh, any idea how long? Somewhere between one and eight hours, I would guess. Hmm. If they're not right, out then. by tonight, I'll 
send one of my men to at least let you know that they're not going to be out and let you get on your way. I'll be along the road. He kind of nods a bit. Thank you again, Mr. Um, Walker. Walker. Walker? Walker. Okay. Shakes your hand again. Shakes back. Uh, very appreciatively at you bringing them. and You see your way out. As you do, uh, one of the, uh, one of the guards, one of the ones who was on horseback yesterday when you arrived, or day before yesterday when you arrived. Mm-hmm. Whenever it was. Um, kind of like, uh, he, he kind of like puts his bow up as you're walking. He's like, hey, 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 you, you were with, uh, you were with them when they came in, right? Yeah, I was. Oh, hey, uh, the, the, t- the tall girl, she, um, and he kind of looks over your shoulder at the other guy. She, um, she with one of them or you, do you have any idea? I could just shrugs. Anything? Uh-huh. Walker shrugs again. Not really my business. No idea at all? Like I said. Walker kind of starts moving along. He, he looks vaguely disappointed at, at your lack of answer. <laughs> um. About... We finish up. The couple hours go by as you guys have... It's hot, but at least with, like, the window open, the door open, there's something resembling a draft. Um, it's a little drier. Do they, like, do they, like give us water or something? Yeah, like, like obviously, they, they would take care of water for you. They're not dicks. But... A uh, couple hours go by. Then I'd like to mention what Walker's doing, if that's okay. It'll be a yeah, go ahead. Sec. Uh, Walker's gonna set to smoking the alligator hide. Just I'll outside the thing, smoking. No, no, the- he's he's like a good distance down the road. He's okay. like a he's okay. like almost out of eyesight. Like sure. he's moving you're, around. You're in a little smoking spot. the hide. Yeah, that's an ultimate method of preservation for hides. I I, I did some research. Yeah, in, until it can be properly tanned into leather. Yeah. Okay. It's like smidge vinegar and salt. You. Smoke also works. Like, smoke dries it out, like jerky, but it's hide. Yeah. You know, like ham. <laughs> you like smoked ham. Anyway, so, uh, while you do that, they, uh... You hear the two guards, the one that was speaking to you and the one behind you, kind of, like, arguing as you walk away about something. Um, anyway, so a couple hours go by, and then, uh... You guys hear a knock at one of the open doors. It would be, uh, let's say, Amari's. Sure. Uh, we'll say Amari got the closest one to the entrance. So there's a knock at the open door, and uh, Officer Akinson. All right. Um, he needs to speak with you. The Antio's here. Uh, can you get your friends? I'm waiting. Um. All right. No. Go and get them. Fetch them. You head down and let them know very quickly. And, um, in short order, you, um, the three of you are guided, and, uh, Officer, um, Officer Akinson kind of like, like, at this point, like, he's walking with you guys. He's not escorting you, he's walking with you. And he's got, like, nice. you know, he's got one of you on the left side, two of you on the right side, and he's like, all right, so... And he's, like, almost, like, coaching you about what to say to not piss the guy off <laughs> and things. All right, woo! <laughs> he's like, and whatever you do, do not ever insist that, uh, Antier is... Uh, don't ever insist that he's wrong. Don't ever insist that, you know, he's an idiot. N- nothing like that. Especially not now. Um, he has not in, been in great mood since all of this started. It has been, um, you know... Things... I mean, I, I, he, he kind of, like, uh, looks so like, how would you feel if you had a bunch of power and then someone told you to fuck off and took it all away? Wouldn't know the feeling? I mean, but uh, you yeah. know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, you, d- you, you did have horses and then you were told to fuck off and not allowed to have them. Same thing. 
Right. It sucked, right? True and the, and the teeth grinding <laughs> is audible. And he like points at you like exactly. That's how he feels. That's how he's felt for like a week now. Anyway, so um yes, as I was saying, um so yeah, just you know keep the basics. Don't do what your don't do what your friend. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm horrible with names. Uh, what's your name? It hey, looks to Owen. 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 Uh, don't do what Owen's doing now. He looks really pissed off and the gritting teeth and all that. Don't do that. Be be personable. You know, like um, emotions to Rom. I smile serenely. <laughs> He gives you like a thumbs up as he guides you down the left hall and just good luck and like essentially shoves you in the door um, uh, and you see as you come in there is a side desk that you see maurice jean de bar sitting behind and then behind the main desk on the other side is antir kasmar who gives you this vaguely stressed look and you would note that while there are two seats over by the smaller desk that uh, the Arcanist is sitting on, there are none in the area that uh, the Antir is at. And you just kind of like, you're given no direction except the Antir looking at you. And it's like, you just kind of have to uh, insinuate from that that you need to go towards him. And he just looks at you. Just like, take a couple steps forward with everyone. Hello. We line up in front of the desk. <laughs> Children better be scolded. So, I've heard that... Oh. And he, like, he kind of rubs his temples a bit and rubs at his forehead and, like, just smacks, like, Phoenix Wright style at a fucking stack of papers on his desk. <laughs> I don't want to go over all of this, so... When we helped you... What was it? A week? Less than... When we helped you... There was an expectation... That things would not go to shit. I feel like that's a reasonable expectation... To have... With anyone... That you help. Don't you think? I... And, uh, your friend, uh, Evan? I made no mistake, he's no friend of ours anymore. Certainly not. Emotions, as you say, anymore. But he was your friend. That's what we thought. I'm not going to get into the... minutia of... the concept of things being reframed in a new light in the past. Was your friend. It's not now, but he was. But right. I suppose. He traveled all the way here from Dunrock. Literally from one side of this country to the other. Is that right? Hmm. And you didn't think for one fucking second that something might be wrong. Not a single strange thing happened that entire time. No. Other than the usual weirdness. What is the usual I weirdness mean, exactly? There was the whole thing at Dunrock, but yeah, that was that, it. That's what I was. I mean, yeah. regarding him. No. Well, no. Well, I mean, Owen kind of like shifts. Leans in a little bit conspiratorially. I always thought it was a bit weird that the man fought without a weapon. I found people who fight. They're called him. Um, I. There's a. Oh, what the fuck's it called? A ring of glory or something. It's full of people that do that shit. It's dumb. First, but, or you know. I, but. Know anyone who does that? Anyone? Ever met anyone else though who fights for their life with a out a weapon? Nothing. Mm-mm. Ever did anything weird? 
I went over, he smacks the papers again. It's the stack. I went over all of these notes. Three times. You're telling me uh, you didn't have any ideas at all about what could possibly have happened? About what could possibly have happened? About what possibly could have happened? That he had access to arcane allies that you were unable to find out about over the course of traveling one side of the country to the other. That was like we told Officer Aikinson. Kept to himself, mostly. Bless his heart, Aikinson's a fucking idiot. Aikinson, if it were up to him, there would be no fort here. If it were up to him, there would be no war, because everyone would be sitting on a back porch getting stoned somewhere. If it were up to him, there would be nothing, because no one would have ever invented the wheel, because they would have stayed in the back porch of a cave getting stoned somewhere. So forgive me if, uh, like I said to Officer Aikinson, does not hold enough water. I only trust him because he's also ridiculously loyal and a genuinely good person. So, with that, tell me something. I don't need to know all about this Evan's life. I need something to give to those sons of bitches, those fucking sons of bitches in Verona from the fucking cathedral that are currently running every facet of my life. I need to point them in a direction other than an attack from Garland. An attack from Garland which left 10 people dead. 10 families without mothers or fathers or sons or daughters or brothers or sisters. 10 families. Real quick, can we just inside that? <laughs> uh, go ahead. I mean, uh, fucking Akinson said it was half a dozen, and this guy is saying a very specific a thing. Akinson said well over half a dozen. Those were his exact words. Yeah, okay, well, right, can, well can, right. can we... Can we see if uh, if we think this guy give me blind insight that he's checks? Telling the truth? Yeah, blind insight check. He said. Uh, blind GM roll. I mean, Ram Amari. Yeah, he he seems to be genuinely believing. Like he. Yeah, he's telling the truth. It's Evian caused the death of a lot of people. Owen, you have dealt with weird military bureaucratic weirdness before. Maybe not on this scale, maybe not with this culture, but it's got that same kind of feel to it. Something ain't right when he says this. I knew it. I knew it! Owen maintains his composure. Look, all I want is something to tell these people. I don't have... I mean, you're, you're here. I know, at this point he kind of, like, slumps back in his admittedly very nice chair. Uh, though, while very nice, it's also worn. It is obvious that, uh, while it was something that was probably a very high-tier expenditure, he has definitely gotten a lot of use out of it. I just... I cannot give them nothing. They won't accept nothing. I... He motions mostly to Owen. I'm sorry about what happened to your horses. That was beyond my control. That is nothing compared to what they will want done. <sighs> he sits up and opens a 
opens a disconnecting Discord. Uh, <laughs> that's the sound of straw bags. Do 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 do. When he opens it, and uh, <laughs> he goes through and he pulls out a rolled parchment and takes off the seal and places it, unfurls it, and shows it. What does it say? The gist of it. Uh, I'm not going to give the whole thing because it is very long and wordy and the gist is it is a missive that if they do not get answers there will be hell to pay Um, if they do not find who did this they expect something and based on based on the how it's written you would gather that this is one of many in correspondences with the capital, and that this one in particular is going about um, a rebuttal when they explained that uh, like what happens if they're like, we need anyone from that group. They did it. Find them and bring us their heads is essentially the gist of it. So he's asking us for something that will... So that he doesn't have to send you. Um, and based on the wording, and uh, Amari, you've seen you've seen a decent bit of paperwork, Rom, you've come across. This is official, and this is the kind of thing where they could arrest you guys right now, kill you, and no one would ever question it. Like, that's the level of, like, authority they've been given to deal with this. The fact that they haven't is a pretty big rope uh, bone they've already thrown you. I, I do also find it very funny, out of character, that like these guys have no idea how super fucked they would be if they decided to do that. Like it wouldn't <laughs> happen, right? But they have <laughs> zero idea how absolutely dead they would be if they decided to fuck with us. <laughs> oh, that's not right, because Amari. <laughs> Oh my god, that would kill me. Oh, yeah. dear, I mean, yeah, shit, dude. Uh, I'm sorry. Right. No one can fill the room with fucking spectral warriors. Like, fuck these guys. The thing yeah, is, it wouldn't also, be a matter of no. time until you guys would end up back in the shadow fell. All I'm saying <laughs> if, is if Amari dies. <laughs> I think they just get shipped on back. You think I'm undead? You think I'm undead in the show? It would be even worse because then they'd like try and kill us and then the entire fort would vanish. <laughs> <laughs> dude, like, what happened? They'd, uh, Imagine they'd like, have to go fight the weird Shadow Knight in the Shadowfell who just fucking starts slaughtering everyone. Just imagine, like, Walker's right outside the range of getting sucked in the Shadowfell and he's like, what the fuck? Anyway. The so, entire fort just fucking yeah. goes away. So, I think you yeah, have a good so idea of what the fuck happened if that happened. So, Ven, is there... Uh, Owen's a, a decently smart guy. Is there some kind of detail that's innocuous enough to not, like, be specific but also to convince these guys that that we are we are who we say we are and and you know don't arrest us please because we're not bad guys that i, I can mean, think of to give them about evian <laughs> that's a really hard question for me to answer uh, as well i mean uh, like i'm trying to i'm racking my brains for like things that will not you know come back to haunt like Like, uh, and obviously based on the correspondence and what you read and how this conversation they seem to believe that it was garish spies or garish insurrectionists or something like that that much already seems clear they just they seem to want something to like an answer why did it happen uh what was the point why were people trying to get out of the country mention any new garish Like, well, I'm also William. I'm also trying not to like just uh, look. The Gars did it. Like I'm not, you hate know, the people. What I mean, that is already being assumed by them. Is that? Yeah, but attack. but there's a difference between them assuming that Gars did it and Owen, a a prince of Garland, being like, yeah, the Gars did it. Fuck those and guys. <laughs> Owen Mac Dirk. Well, as it goes. He had a group of mages, and he, they snuck past for some reason. Maybe it was a diversion of some sort? Yes, I... 
can you tell us anything about these fucking mages? We've no, never no, no mages. I know. I've... That's the part that. If there's one thing had... that doesn't add up, it's that you lot traveled with him. Unrock here. He was apparently keeping correspondence with mages, to be able to time this attack in a very efficient manner. Yet you had no idea. He did have I've a heard... lot of blank looks. I've heard tales of powerful magic that lets you send messages. You know, like a courier, but magic. He vaguely nods in behind you to the very quiet uh, Maurice, the arcanist who is sitting in a, behind a table on the other side. Oh. I have as well. Um, it's not the most uh, helpful here because it doesn't uh... welcome back Hannah internet problems I'll assume that's a yes oh uh... I just don't if we're talking about mages that powerful there has to be something else at work here. Was there... Why was he... Did he mention anything about hating the country? About wanting to get out of Lenore? About a reason he'd want to? We helped some people along the way. You know, in Tandrock. We even helped the Antelier. He, he was part of that. We never had reason to suspect anything at all. seem like really good people. I have extended you a branch a mile long. But I need something. Rack your brain. Give me something to tell them. Because if it were up to them, it would all hang in the fucking walls of Verona. It's a reminder of a Garish insurrectionist. Oh, and kind of uh, blanches at this this direct, you know, it's not a threat, but it's like a reminder. It's definitely, yeah, it's him kind of saying it, like he's saying, he's saying the part that's not supposed to be said type of thing. I mean... He was just well hidden. It was a good spy, I guess. Where was he before Dunrock? That's where we met him. He didn't tell you anything before. Um, him? he never. I was the first person to meet him on our way to Dunrock. On your way to Dunrock. Knew... From where? Exception War Camp. What this was? I, uh, what was this? I was a. He like um, sits up in his about, chair, and begins writing. At this point, this was a little over a month ago, and well, a little over. I was it before or after I the festival? A, before. Before the festival. Um, I was there where I met him. Um, apparently he had survived some sort of shipwreck and Life washed shipwreck. up there. I was there because I'm a translator and was in Thank helping... You. And at this point he just cuts you off? I'm, I'm sorry, a translator. And your name? Amari Stolt. Amari Stolt. Translator. At the war camp? Mm-hmm. You met him at the war camp or on leaving it? Leaving, we left together. He was at the war camp. Mm-hmm. Before the Dunrock Festival. Mm-hmm. Thank you. 
What's the officer I could send for, um... For the compensation for the two lost horses? The other three will be yours. They've already been seen to. They're saddled up, and you have rations to get you back to Aria. You have all three of your horses, and I apologize for the other two. I need to get this letter sent immediately. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank uh, you. Sorry for the trouble, for what it's worth. No, you gave us an answer. I don't know where it goes. I don't know if this means someone in the Red Band is working against us. I don't know if this means there are more insurrectionists. But it's given us something. This isn't information I can use, but it's information that can be used. Thank you. Oh, I just had a really bad idea. <laughs> I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the win, and I'm, I'm out. I want to know I'm, what I'm, it is. No, I, I want, it's an after dark. No, like, okay, um. I'll remember. Oh, and uh, nods to the antelier or the antier and the mage in turn, and turns to leave. Mm-hmm. And uh, you get out and you see at the end of the hall where it splits in half, uh, going two different directions, you see a very relieved-looking Officer Akinsu comes over and just kind of, like, flags you down, like, how'd it go? Was everything all right, then? That yep, to go all good. Well, actually. Oh, then. Um, so, your horses have been taken care of. I, I, I assume you already named them, but we, we took to... Calling them. Uh, no, I don't want to know. They've got names, and I don't want to hear the names that you gave them because they're flat out wrong. <laughs> he gives a little smile. At that. <laughs> All right, fair enough. And uh, you guys are given deemed proper compensation for Bud and Sherry, which comes to <laughs> twenty nine crosses and three <laughs> clips. Sad. 29. See, y'all made some money, too. That's not divisible by 3. You suck. Be happy. <laughs> I rolled a d5 <laughs> twice to find out which horses were gone. That could have been a lot worse. I guess. I mean, if you think that Owen would not have gone after Luath by himself, you got another thing coming. Yeah, fuck my country, fuck my family. I gotta get that horse. <laughs> what? He's going that way anyway. Mm -hmm. All right. So with that, you guys get your things. You get your Did, horses. Does Akinson say Walker's message? Uh, yes. Akinson relays the message that Walker is waiting down the path to guide you guys back, and uh, he kind of, uh, he kind of, um. As you're, like, starting to... He, you guys have your horses. They're all set up. You've got, like, nice saddlebags on them. A little bit... It looks like they either gave you new ones or really patched up saddlebags that were on them that are full of uh, some horse feed and a few days' worth of rations. Um, And uh, he kind of, like... He kind of, like, uh, comes in as, like... I'm not, I'm not sure if I would... Uh, I would trust that Walker fellow too much, though, because he was kind of a dick and kept saying how incompetent you guys were. I mean, I suppose he's not wrong. I mean, he made the right mess he of still this made trip. it here. You <laughs> did everything right. I'm sorry? Respectable. You made it here, you did everything right. You made things right. I think it's respectable. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah, we appreciate the sentiment, officer. There's a little smile. And Obviously, it was about the horses. And uh, Owen oh, oh, gives Luab <laughs> a loving pat. <laughs> uh, Luath seems, while not exhausted, like he has just ran a marathon for three hours and isn't, like, itching to run for the first time in a long time. There's a good lad. And, uh, proudly, like, trotting alongside you. Uh, very well taken care of. Uh, looks like it's been brushed, combed. He's been very well taken care of. And, um, as you head out, uh, one of the guards that you saw when you came in kind of like, uh, kind of like, hey, 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 kid, and like, towards Amari, hey, psst, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, hey, uh, and like, motions you over. Like, look around and 
make my way over. Hi, uh, that tall girl. She's single? She with you? Uh... <laughs> hey? <laughs> um, Amari just kind of like stifles a laugh and just a laugh nods. That Mitch could not. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, yeah, so, uh, nods? Yeah, he nods. Just like, yeah. Hi, she's with you? Not with with me, but oh. she's with me. Oh, she's into girls, huh? <laughs> I'm <laughs> not sure. He kind of like you, you see him like look you, for like more information. Do you do you want to talk to her? No, 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 no. it's fine. Just I just need to know. And he, like keeps looking over your shoulder at one of the guards on the other side of the of the gate. Uh, who is this again? I'm just making sure. One of the guards referencing oh, okay. Rom. That's yeah. I've okay. never met this guy before. He's like 25, okay. maybe. All right. Well, if you want, I could introduce you to her. He kind of leans in. No 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 no, 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 no! I got, I got a bet. You ain't like he like motions over. All right, so over there, you see the oh, other side. That girl, with the crossbow, the, the shitty crossbow she does not hold. That's my sister, and we may have bet. Mm-hmm. I said, there's no way in any God's forsaken hell that that woman could land a man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Well. Um. I know they went. I wasn't with them, but they did go to a, um. Place. Listen, buddy. We, we didn't mention Star Shore, so don't <laughs> fuck us now! Okay? Okay? <laughs> I'm not saying where it is. I just said we went to a place. Oh, what was that? Look, come on, man. I got I got three clips on the line for this. Nah, man. I don't think she's been with anyone. Yes! And he, like, looks over. In your face, bitch! I was right! She's never fucked a man! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Fuck it, just uh, He screams that very loudly as you guys are walking away. <laughs> I'm already just and, like, uh, you then, like, as you're walking, that, you, you that, just... that is mm. lies and blasphemy. <laughs> and, uh, as you're kind of walking away, you hear the sound of change flying behind you. And you just hear, oh, shit! And you look and you can see a lot of sense getting thrown at him from across the. Made of its sense! Excellent. You get the sense that no matter who, uh, takes control here. The laid-back atmosphere will never be defeated. At least not yet. Good mm -hmm. on them. Shame ten of them died. And so... Yeah, good on them getting to... over their fucking commander murdering ten of them. Good for uh, them. You guys head down the path a bit where... Oh, yeah. Walker, you have been at this for a hot couple of hours, probably. Still finishing up just smoking it, and... Uh, you guys head down the path, you see a campfire set up just off the path. This right after hearing, hey. just in your face, bitch, she's never fucked a man. And then laughing. Do I hear that? Tackling. Uh, you would hear an echo of laughter or something. But that was it. Uh, at the campfire, Walker can be found fiddling with... <laughs> also fiddling with wood. Um, fucking... <laughs> No. Uh. <laughs> he's, he's carving something. So he's he fucking doing bullshit. I don't fucking know, guys. I'm tired. All right. And you guys head up. Mm -hmm. Walker will put 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 uh, put things up, grab his things, pack up, and he get with the group. You want to ride? Uh, I think Walker would also be sure to like be slow about picking up to make it, you know, as if he's talking to them. Yeah. Reaching, whatever the fuck's happening. Huh? Yeah, let's, let's get going. You guys have Luoth, you have Kafhau, 
and you have patches. <sighs> Who's riding who? Owen is riding the ride, and there is nothing <laughs> you know, anybody funny. can say about it. Why would you phrase it that way? Uh, Walker, Walker will teach Amari how to drive. A drive stick. <laughs> on, these on, on which one? Calf Hour <laughs> Patches? Don't say that. Whatever one the others don't pick. I don't Bro, know. Which, which one are you Amari on? on? Uh, patches. Alright. So I'm on Calf Hour. And I'm sad now. Walker takes over Calf Hour. Hmm. And you guys, with your things Amari packed, rides with Walker. Head back to the camp. About hour, hour and a half's ride away. At a decent pace, 45 minutes. Rides with... So, with that, as the party gets back together after the great encounter of Fort Siege, we're gonna go ahead and take our first break of the night. <laughs> so... What? So... With a much more upbeat, celebratory bit of music, you guys all meet back up at what is, I hope to guys, the last time, the pseudo cave outside of Fort Siege. I think we should name this base of character. Now. As the horses approach, and That's Ishri sees name. particularly Luaf, Lu 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 uh, the, the black horse, she stares. Her eyes get wide, and if she is not by her weapon, because she's, like, fist fighting, she, like, edges over towards it, her eyes never leaving that horse. She just Walker casually... We are on top of the horses, riding them. Doesn't matter, I know. She's freaked out. Those are just horses. They are completely harmless. Were they actually fist fighting as we got back? Uh, I imagine game. that, given it had been... Probably three or four hours at least. Probably closer to five. I see you just fucking box people for hours on end. <laughs> Uh-oh. Don't know what that was. It was Logan pressing the wrong button. Uh, I, I imagine they have probably been doing it on and off, but maybe. They're just constantly beating the shit out yeah. of each other for five hours. And Simon's just saying, no uh, <laughs> Yay! Simon's just in the corner like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so Walker, uh... No, no. <laughs> oh, that punch was so good. Mm. All right, just... all right. He's doing Walker gets off his walk, walk, gets off his horse, starts walking Whoa. towards the cave, and turns back towards the others. Well, let's hear it. How'd it go? Assuming well enough, considering you're not in chains. Better than expected, but something was off. Off. When we spoke to the Antir, he showed us a, a missive. I assume from Verona. Had all the trappings of, you know, an official, some kind of official bullshit. But if I read it right, if I understand correctly, it gave him the power to execute us then and there and be done with the matter if you wanted to. That's why I was worried about you you actually going. He claimed as well that ten men had been killed. That's about what they said to me as well. One shakes his head again. Something in his eyes when he said that. It wasn't right. What does that mean? I mean that I don't think that Evian killed any of those men. I fucking told you. Uh, what? What happened then? Like, do you think people actually died, or are they trying to know. cover something up, or? It could be like I said before that they just used it as an excuse to blame Garland for another attack and you know now those ten families will be will hate my people, our people Avian motions to or I'm sorry, Owen motions to Evian. more lies
Do you think anyone even actually died? It's hard to say. Guys, both team seem pretty pretty serious about those people who were lost. The officer? At the officer. Atkinson? Akinson? He Walking told dogs. us when we were uh, telling our tale that he didn't believe that he didn't kill those men either. Hmm. Certainly they didn't kill their own men. They could have faked their deaths. Maybe they're living beyond the fort somewhere. Why would they willingly live beyond the fort? If, like he said, if they have families. Who knows? Perhaps they were paid off. What, do, what good is money if you're living beyond the fort? On trucks? Could mean anything. <laughs> Either way. As long as this is behind us, we should get going. Yeah. I've, uh, I've had my fill of living in the swamp. Though, there was one thing. Hmm. He was this close, holds finger, forefinger and thumb really close together. He was this close to um, having us sent off when I told him how I met Ebian. I don't know okay. how you met Ebian. That's um... I'm sorry, at, at the war camp? Yeah. You told them about that? Yeah. It was now either... Certainly going to blame Garlo. Well, I just said you shipwrecked there. And I didn't say whose side you were. Or, well, it kind of implied... I think it is very implied <laughs> that I would be on Garland's side. Yeah, but... What's, this, what's the significance of this war camp? Um... I was on a Garish warship, um, attacking the North. And to my be ship fair. was sunk, and they, because I look Lenorian, I was spared. They thought I was just out on the waters, wrong place, wrong time. I think they would have blamed it on Carlin anyway. Yes, but now there is no chance of them not. If that makes sense. Oh, well. Hmm. Ishri, can I get my things? Yes, Oh yeah, course. Our stuff. Well, oh, and, um, yeah, as, as Walker said that, Evian would hand back Owen's sword. Oh, and, He's just uh, been like waving it. around wildly the entire time. <laughs> like, like how do people like use this? <laughs> Evie had, had to fight with a sword while Ishri had to fight with her fists. <laughs> <laughs> we are learning new things. Neither are proficient in the weapon they were using. <laughs> they both just hurt themselves. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Owen takes his sword back with a nod of appreciation and thanks. I only um, dropped it in the mud a few times. Oh, and looks, looks. He just. He looks a little. He. He looks a little shocked. <laughs> he's. He's very obviously uh, a joking smile. Evian is a smile. He's only a mouth. The rest of him disappears. Thanks for looking after it, and uh, for what it's worth. Like I said, I don't think you killed any of those men. I'm glad to hear it. Does Ishri return Walker's yep. documents? Yeah, and Rom's uh, stuff, uh, mail. Yeah, gives the brooch back to Rom. And Wal Walker right. sees the disarray caused by <laughs> Ishri's bag, silently sighs and begins neatly organizing them before placing them carefully within his own bag once more. Oh, Martin, I'm, 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 I'm very sorry. Bag up. I would, I, I'm sorry. I really sh I should treat them nicer. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Well, there is a bit of a neat freak. Anyway, we've all been resting long enough. I think we should begin moving. Uh, I don't want to be to get caught in the middle of the swamp at nightfall like we were last time. Nowhere to camp. So perhaps we wait for tomorrow. One more night in the cave. 
We could just travel through through the swamp during night. Come out on the other side. Let this through. But we haven't carved our initials into the cave to claim it as ours. Just, car just carve Evan joking. into it. <laughs> Evan, 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 Evan was here. here. Nice. <laughs> the, Evan the was the here. You Lenore guys, you guys is are a forgetting loser. a very important fact. Lenore is loser. cannot read or write Lenore. <laughs> they don't know that. That's fair. <laughs> Lenore is kill. Well, actually, maybe his, his alter ego, Evan. Evan can read it. <laughs> Evan, the normal Our man boy. who can understand two languages, written and, and fights spoken. with weapons. Anyway, I fights would like to uh, get a move on. It's been far too long since we've had a good chance to get a good drink. Uh, oh, is that what you're after? Not the only thing, but certainly a motivator. Would you like some water? I, I have some right here. Oh, that is not even what he is referring to. Oh, she got steers from it. No, I mean alcohol. Booze. You keep saying I things. Mean, curious. Uh, have you ever had alcohol before, Yushri? I'm not sure what that is, so probably oh not. Oh, you're in for the treat, lass. <laughs> oh no. Is it? Is it? Is it very sweet? Can be. <laughs> oh, and just smiles. The good stuff. Oh, is. no. Listen, oh, no. he needs a great place to start. When it comes to booze. If we're heading through Deswood, and you're not going to find any finer honey meat anywhere. Well, hold on there, Walker. We don't even know if that's the way we're going back. I've yet to message Marquez. I still doubt that Marquez was waiting there. Even if he was, they already said that Marquez would most likely take them and go. How long until you can um, speak with him? I just have to write the message. Hmm. Alright. We should probably get that done then. I suppose there's the talk of what happens next. I still need to find out what I'm doing. The way I see things, I doubt um, you're getting a ride back to um, Starshore. At least not from Marquez. Well, we had other ideas. We'll see if uh, Mark Owen is and his uh, and this regions are by the beach. If they're not, we can keep going. You all should drop by Dresswood as well. Enjoy the uh, town. I need to stop by Arya as well and get um, a big cloak. Walker kind of like eyes uh, Evian and uh, history. Maybe perhaps, too. perhaps do I, I. I think uh, two separate cloaks would be preferred. Yes. Does, uh, does anyone in the party actually have a cloak right now? Uh, Amari has like a Mario. traveling cloak. Uh, Walker's wearing a jacket. Um, the guy. only one who would fit you would be either like Rom or Evian, I think. Does Rom have one? Five people said Liliana's one. jacket. I mean, I'm, she was here. I would assume that she does. Rom, uh, may I may I take your cloak then? I don't. I don't. It's it's quite hot here, so I'm assuming you don't need it for the, for the temperature wise. But can I just could I use it? Uh, sure. Go right ahead. Thank you. I'm not going to put it on because it's incredibly hot right now. But when we get into a city, thank you. It'll still be hot, just less uh, humid. I bet Ishri's take... got wicked sunburn. <laughs> oh no! That was just occurred to me. Like a day. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> she probably would hide in any like any shade she could find yeah. all day. She's mm -hmm. just like cowering in it, basically. Anyway. I'm sorry. <sighs> but yeah, no. Should all drop stop by Dreswood. Good city. Nice old town. Good folk there. Simon nods without saying anything at everything Walker's saying. 
Your father among them? Walker nods. The rest of the mill workers have always been good to, good to us. Fine folk. Has it been a long time since you've spoken with him? About two months. That's Just about. So Could be worse, but it feels longer. I. It feels like closer to eight for some reason. <laughs> Fuck that, I was literally about to make that joke, you son of a bitch. How dare you steal that? Feels longer. With that, um, there are seven of you and three horses, so you're not really going to be getting any extra move speed from the horses. We double up, triple up. Yeah, that's healthy for a horse's back. <laughs> I I had imagined that we would be, uh, you know, stowing the packs. Yeah, the, the horses will be temporary beasts of burden. Yeah, yeah, we're just going to slaughter the horses, use them for meat, and keep going, right? I will fucking <laughs> murder you. <laughs> I mean, we could like, we could like get a, a wagon. <laughs> get a wagon. Let's get it. Let's get a oh, fucking. Oh yeah, it'll, it'll help carry the horse meat easier. <laughs> Jesus. And we'll have Ishri and Evian carry it easy. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. <sighs> the whole time, Ishri is just looking at that the the horses like they're just the weirdest thing ever. Like more <laughs> weird than she look at the crocodiles. Is there like a moment of like, all right, team break? Like, is that what happens? <laughs> what is that? Because <laughs> there's like a moment that I wanted to have uh, with Ishri and the horses, but I didn't want to like interrupt the scene. So yeah, I feel like that well, will well, be it, it, it ended with Walker saying it feels like longer. Yeah. So unless anyone was going to continue that uh, line of thought, then you could probably move on with the scene. Uh, for the record, Owen, Owen would nod at that and just kind of like look out to the south wistfully. Uh, but if nobody else has anything immediately that they need to say, Owen would first busy himself with, like, you know, uh, like, I don't know, tying the horses to, like, a bush or something, you know, so they don't, like, wander off. Yeah, uh, no problem. And um, after he's done, like, you know, taking all their saddles off and giving him a good brush uh, he would look over at Ishri and see if she's still you know freaked out yeah she, like, she has only a couple of things so they're packed up incredibly quickly and she's just kind of like moving from foot to foot kind of like staring at the horse out of the corner of eye again particularly the black one uh, I'm sorry I, we're, was the plan to leave now or I thought we were staying here uh, that was there. Walker's intention Never mind. she's put her things out my bad but uh, it was Walker's and like Walker was at this point. It is. It's going. late afternoon. It's like five, six o'clock, maybe as late as seven. It's nearly sunset. Like this is the part of the day where like the sun is at the horizon, staring at you, so you can't really avoid it. Then, if we started going now, how long would it be until we were out of swamp? Uh. You're not gonna hit swamp for a while, buddy. Like, okay. I mean, you're so talking could... about like here to be out of swamp. Yeah, right? no, like yeah. if you want to get out of swamp, you're looking at probably 10, 12 hours of travel. So, if could we like start moving and then like set up camp? Yeah, like, yeah, you could spend a couple begins. hours before and just Walker set up camp would propose that. that we do that just to get a move on, stopping in this shitty cave. You wouldn't you phrase it that way, but you know. As long as we're not camping in no fucking swamp. Well, it sounds like we're going to have to at one point. No, we hope we can keep going all the way through. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a long day of walking, but I dare say we've had worse, lads. Kind of chuckles. Much we worse. definitely have had worse. <sighs> not wrong. Nice to have all that behind us. I'd say, yeah, um, things are tied up quite nicely, all things considered. At Let's least. just hope we don't run into any guards on the road that ask questions. Mm. Let's 
so, with that, um, you guys begin to travel. Do you need checks, Dad? I'm gonna say... Nah. We're, we're on the return journey, and we're going for the, uh... The fun travel, so... Uh, unless you guys have anything specific, um... You spend an evening traveling a couple of hours south. You set up camp. And then you steal yourselves for another day. Traveling, hopefully for the last fucking time, through a swamp. Here in the Misswield Wild. Uh, yeah, so when we... I, I imagine it would be more evident, like, since we are doing a few hours of travel, that Aishri is not super comfortable with the horses. Yeah, she stays the fuck away from them. Yep. <laughs> Uh, so once we, once we make camp, uh, Owen will, you know, like I said, he'll, he'll make sure the horses are, are tethered and are not going to wander and he'll, you know, take off their saddles and give them a good brush down, make sure they're fed. Uh, and then he'll kind of, uh, what's Ishri doing by, by that time? Like, is she, is she set up her bedroll? Yeah, she's probably, like, sharpening or cleaning her weapon or something. Just just out of ha- habitually. Yeah. Owen will, uh... He'll look over at her and, and he'll kind of take a few steps closer and, and take a knee and he'll say... Kind of clear his throat and he'll say... I suppose you've, uh... You've never seen a horse before? Not alive. Not alive? I mean, I've killed plenty of undead ones. They come at you. They're 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 nasty fuckers. Really, they they pack a punch worse than an undead man sometimes. And I um, well, Artie used to tell me about the black ones that come in the night, um, and sometimes the day, and they they just. I mean, she couldn't even handle them. They're they're. Just, I mean, I, she claimed they were made of shadows. So so this one doesn't seem to be made of shadows. But I've I just I've always kept a lookout. Stay away from him, and it, it, it's. It seems like a bad omen that one's right there in front of me. I, 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 I realize now. I, I know in my heart that this isn't one, but it's just only seen dead ones. Well, um, I found that fear often comes from a lack of knowledge. So, if you'd like, I could introduce you to my friend over there. It's a bit spirited, but... Yeah, I, I could do that. Yeah, um... I mean, I've watched you all day, and, you know, neither of you kill each other. And night has fallen, neither of you kill each other, so I... I rationally know they're fine. It's just... <sighs> yeah. And she'll, uh sheathe her sword and head over uh owen owen smiles as, as she gets up and uh uh you know he does the the classic this is how you interact with horses thing where he like takes ishri's hand and you know puts it on luath and like gives a little pat uh you know he he talks about you know uh you know he's not going to hurt you it's just the creature like like you and i uh, he gives Ishri some, I, I don't know, horse feed is what the guy said he gave uh, us. Yes. He gives Ishri some horse feed to feed to Luath. Um, Ishri, give me an animal handling check. Can it be an advantage because Owen's helping? Uh, yeah, I'll allow it. <laughs> Do really well. Roll well, Hannah. Natural 20. Yes! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh nice my God. Call the call. horse Good likes call. her better than you. Fuck you. <laughs> I have also rolled a natural 20 when interacting with these horses. Do not test me. This is true. Nick is such a real him. life horse girl. It's ridiculous. Nick's getting upset. <laughs> Only when I'm playing Owen. It's getting upset. So, um, 
Luoth is very receptive and like it, it, it's it's a strange feeling that y you don't know how to really react to at first because like this is a creature that is multiple times your size and could kill you by stomping on your head in like an instant and it's just kind of nuzzling at your hand eating seems kind of laid back uh, vaguely giddy like constantly like shuffling while it's standing, but otherwise, Ishri seems to like you enough. She's like, you can tell that, like, in her eyes, you can see the fear, and she keeps, like, eyeing, like, the hooves and stuff, and you hear her mother under her breath, like, I took a hit from one of those one time, it wasn't good. Uh, but then she, like, slow, does some, like, calming breath, and she's, she's in control. There, no. It's all right. Yeah, this, uh... I, I... I've seen a lot of new stuff. Uh, I think this one was just a little... I mean, the sun was awful. Is... is awful, but I mean... I think it's just the being trained... to fear and kill something, and then being confronted with it that's a little particularly, um... jarring. But there are plenty of new things. I'm sure I'm going to encounter with all of you. A lot of knowledge I'll gain. It's just one of them. Well, I'm sorry to have uh, frightened you with him. But it seems okay now. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't... I don't know if I want to um, ride one of them. But, um, as all of you were. But, uh... Yeah. It's, it's fine. It takes a bit of getting used to, but... Nothing like a good horse. On smiles. Pats Luath appreciatively. Uh, Luath kind of spends a second, like, lingering next to Ishri. Uh, seemingly expecting more food, but then eventually kind of moves away. Uh, reading the room, as it were, that Ishri is still not exactly trusting of this giant beast. She's no longer eyeing them, though. The entire time. That's so. That's Luath, and that's Patches, and what, what's his name? Kapow. That's that's what his name is. And Owen points points it out. All the individual horses. Well, they have, they have names. Of course. What are they named after? Well, I can't speak to the other two, but. Uh... Luath is a, a goddess worm. It means... Lenorian doesn't quite have... It's not quite the same, but... It means swiftness. Or something like that. I could see it. That makes sense, yes. Never had any pets back where you come from? Um, no. I mean, again, most of the animals we encountered were undead. So they stayed away from the citadel because of Nrihos protection. Um, and when you were out in, like I was out in the wilds, you, you, you killed them because they were a threat to you. Or you stayed away from them if you didn't want to. Hmm. We didn't keep crocodiles and undead horses around. Well, I guess if there's no nice animals, and then there's no reason to want to keep them around. Are there many other different types of animals? Oh, that you so keep many. As pets? So many different types. Oh. I... Yeah. Well, you, you've got your, your hounds, and you've got your cats got some people like to keep birds as pet i knew a great falconer once beautiful bird. he keeps alligators as pets only weird people oh and shrugs and concedes the point they're more so um a pest a danger something to watch out for something to hunt on occasion 
could do that. I mean, other people keep animals for other reasons, like chickens give eggs, and you can get wool off a of sheep, milk nope. from cows, that kind I... of thing. You, you didn't have any of that? I don't know what egg or milk or wool is, so... Oh, I, wait, uh, she probably know what wool is. I don't know what egg or milk is, so... Food and drink. Yeah, we, we mostly suck to a, a, a few things that we could grow within the Citadel. Um, again, because of Miriam's blessing, but, but then mostly purified food. I know you can, um... You can curdle milk and, and clarify it, turn it into a good drink. Is it alcohol? Uh, punch, yes. I think uh, vodka typically was used. I don't know. I don't really made it. Well, then I can experience two new things at once. We'll see. I wouldn't say it's exactly a great place to start. Well, regardless, I think traveling with all of you, I'll learn quite a bit. Really, it's fascinating. Perhaps more than you bargained for. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was honestly hoping to just bring you to the Citadel and have you talk to some people who would write it out in a book or something. Um, leave you all be to do my own things, but I shall get far more information this way, and maybe it'll be a bit more exciting. And now I get to spend time with people. It's better than being alone. I, I um. Being alone is great. It's nice to be with people. How long were you alone? I I'm not really sure. Um, I don't exactly know how to keep track of time. The, the flame tenders do, but it's it's not really something I I much I could I I know about the year of my birth, and that's about all I know. But um, I don't know. Some oh, years. Not that hard to keep track here. Days when the sun's up. I when it's down, to track by days. Yes, but do you count every day that passes? It seems mm -hmm. really tedious for something so unimportant. Some people do. You usually hear about the date once you enter a town. Exactly, the flame tenders do that. It's nice to be able to mark, you know, when things happen. I usually keep in mind how long it takes for me to get one from one place to another. Yeah, when I, when I was traveling, it was mostly just... You just try to stay close enough to where... Our, you know, the, the outpost that I had set up. That you could get back in time. And that was about it. And just kind of wander. And find information, you know? As you could. The days kind of... Blend. When you're alone. I, uh... I don't know how that is. Rob looks like she relates to this very much and is uncomfortable with that. <laughs> Have you spent some time alone then, Rob? Yes. I mean, everyone has, haven't they? At one point or another. Oh, and shifts uncomfortably. <laughs> nice, nice. As <laughs> in he's never been alone ever in his life. <laughs> well, it's... Being alone is nice for the, for the sake of, you know, reflecting on what's important. Getting getting your priorities straight. I don't Are your know. priorities out of order? Uh, uh No. Uh, just, uh, you know, just find out what's important, you know? She does not look Hang you in on. the eye when she says that. It, it, it sounds like someone who's, like, been in prison. <laughs> then, does this sound like someone who's been in prison? Oh, uh, I mean... Because I feel like it does. I'm going to intonate that how you want. <laughs> oh... I, I don't think like that's a D&D &D role to do. That's purely up to you. 
You make it sound like you being alone wasn't something you chose. I've heard, uh... I've heard criminals talk like that, as if trying to justify them being, uh, spending time in prison. I, I, I am... I'm, I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a criminal. No, 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 no. Um, we don't have prisons, but I, I, I am no criminal. No, I just, um, I, I, um, you know, I just, uh, was always destined, you know, I, I was, I was always destined to go off alone as an ember. And I just, um, well, I forgot how important sticking to my destiny was. Were you banished? No, 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 no. I was I was not banished. Necessarily, I was... You know, I was just... Can I insight check? No. Give me a blind <laughs> insight check. I'm just not gonna do that. <laughs> no, she's not lying. Okay. She doesn't seem to be, no. <sighs> yeah, I, well... I was... I was not banished. I just, um... I had simply forgot what my destiny was and I was reminded of it. Hmm. Well, I'm sure if you don't want to talk about it, we won't dig deeper. Everyone has their own... skeletons. By which he means secrets. Right. Hopefully we all have our own skeletons, too. <laughs> but that's something else like, entirely. Actually, um, I share mine with, uh, with Red. Time what? Here, huh? <laughs> I only have half of a skeleton. I keep the top half, he keeps the bottom. That's useful. Good, good, good. Does Ishri believe him? No! <laughs> no, she uh, does not. Ishri's not an idiot. Her. No, <laughs> well, I wasn't sure. <laughs> well, <laughs> her intelligence would indicate otherwise, but her wisdom says she would not, not believe you. Uh, Walker considers making a limp dick joke, but decides he's not drunk enough to say something so stupid. <laughs> then considered making a limp dick joke, but decided <laughs> not to. Ben is Walker. Anyway. So. Um, with your camp set up speaking, is there anything else you guys need to do, or? Funny bubble! Oh, Walker's gonna God, immediately go hunting. <laughs> Kill Amari? Hunting for Amari. kills Amari? Oh no. <laughs> Funny bubble. Prestige Walker had a sniper rifle the entire time. So, um... Walker pulls out his gun. With that... Who wants to be in the funny bubble with me? You guys... Go ahead and, uh... You get into the bubble, those of you who don't, don't. And you keep a night of watch. Uh, I night. thought, was Walker going hunting? Yeah, Walker's night? gonna spend the most of the night hunting, finishing smoking that hide, and getting, uh, if I can grab some more crocs, that'd be great. Why don't you do that so I have time to compose my sending to Marquette? Oh, well, I was just going to essentially let you do it, and just gloss over it, that way, you well, know. I need, I need time to write, I'm sorry. Well, listen, it here, it wasn't pre-prepared. Eastry can come along, and we can continue the talk from the night. Ishri was gonna- I was about to say Ishri's gonna come along, because Ishri would like to learn how to hunt here, too, so. I- <laughs> It's just- you can supercut every time Ishri goes hunting with Walker, and it's like just one, like, fluent conversation. I, fluent I, conversation. No. no, better yet, we never have the conversation, I just cut and paste the first one into every time. <laughs> and it's over and over again. Uh, oh. oh, shit. Just get, like, four lines and just shuffle them each time. <laughs> The sun? I just say that over and over. <laughs> oh, I'll just set up a fucking uh, the sun. The sun. I'll, the I'll sun just set up a fucking uh, uh, um, a bunch of just pre-made sounds and just create the conversation over here on. Just gonna, just gonna fucking a soundboard. Sound yeah, a soundboard just for Walker and Ishri's conversations. <laughs> the sun. Wait, you, see, you, that's actually going to be our new, uh, our new cut. What, our what, new what, cut what is what is that? <laughs> you see, that's actually going to be new, our new cut transition. As, as it ended, did you hear Ishley going the sun? And then, and then you just have a random person going the and sun. And then the other soundboard, I'll just have Walker, and it'll just be eight hundred different cuts of William going, Ugh. and it just plays uh, a random one each time. Walker nods. Yeah, that'd be the other one. <laughs> so, um, Ishri, you uh, follow Walker as he goes hunting again. As we um, stall for Nick. 
Nope, Nick's good. Nick's had like an hour at this point. <laughs> okay, listen, I have been role playing and taking notes at the same time, and I, I'm frazzled. All right, I'm frazzled. He's frazzled. He's on edge. <laughs> okay, we checked. He has had 28 minutes to compose the okay. set, Nick. <laughs> uh, so Walker hunts for gators with Ishri in tow. Um, give me a survival check. Both of us. Go ahead. Nope, that's not, that's not survival. One second. Yeah. Love it when the dice support the uh, narrative. The narrative, yeah. Um, and Ishri, though the basic concepts are not lost on you, learning the intricacies of hunting something that is vaguely intelligent and living is a lot different than, you know something that you just leave a trap out with some dead bait and grab a harpy's leg in a bear trap or something. Big difference. But eventually, after a couple of, maybe an hour or two, you head closer to the edge, you find a couple of, on the smaller side, alligators. You're, you're further out, you're not in the swamp proper here. Um, though you do come across multiple very large, vaguely, like, Orange glowing toads. That uh. Walker yeah. warns Ishri not to go near the toads. Okay, are these the I think you mentioned them, the exploding ones. Yes. Walker nods. Yeah, they uh they have these little pustules that are kind of reddish orange, and they kind of like glow a little bit when you get close and like try and mess with them. It's something. But uh, eventually you guys come back with a couple of mm, smaller size, maybe four, four and a half, maybe five foot gators around there. Mm. Uh, I mean, you could you could probably make a pair of boots out of one. Sick. Uh, does Ishii confess anything? Uh, <laughs> um, Ishii doesn't think there's anything to confess. Oh. So, why would she confess to anything? Cause I mean, if there's any also any particular questions, because we're trying to stall for fucking Owen or Nick here. <laughs> oh, in that case. So, what? I, I was just curious. What is a what is a scion? To establish, I believe at this point we would have... Uh, uh, probably, like, we have a couple of alligators until maybe we're on the, on the way back. Okay. Scion? Yes. <sighs> Something like... I don't know. If you'd asked me uh, about a month ago, I would have told you they were a, uh, a mix of cultists and bandits. But, well. Well, Evian's dad is one of them. Oh. And, uh, I guess Owen's uncle was at one time as well. I see. I see. Is your opinion so, of them different? I don't know. Their leader seems... Walker kind of scowls as he thinks. Weak. We, uh... I believe I mentioned before, we uh, recovered a dangerous object for them before our, uh, our associate, Lakar. Oh, were these the the ones who who had the object? Yes. They were. Yes. But that's they just kind of attack people on the road. Anyone who might be associated with the Lenorian government, they seem like they're just a they're just poorly poorly organized rebels who act as bandits. That is really not disappointing. My, not my favorite kind of people, to be honest. Yeah, they don't—they don't seem like right people. Despite the fact these are the ones with the the intention, right, of trying to, to stop this. They seem to want to fight the injustice within the Lorian government, but their effectiveness is debatable. And if they are hurting people, that is just not good. They are those with the government mainly. Well, I guess that's their intention. But like I said before, they attacked us. Thank you. Thank you for clarifying. I was just curious. Mm. 
probably be safest for Evian if he stayed there while or stayed with them while um, trying while waiting for his uh, ship to arrive to take him out of the country. Oh, Evian won't be staying with us. Hard to say. I don't know what's. I don't really know what's going to happen. To anyone? At least not yet. Don't have information. Not until Owen talks with Marquez. Not until I talk with my father. I mean, Evian is not the only one among you who is on the run, correct? Simon said he was as well. Yes, he managed to keep heat plans. Seems, uh, I'll be honest, pretty sure he greatly overestimates just how wanted he is. It's better than safe than sorry, especially around uh, guardsmen or those who would uh, hunt bounties. But I've, I've never seen a, a, a wanted poster for him ever in my career. Well, I, I hope there's something we can do to keep Evian safe in a way that doesn't harm anyone else. As long as we're careful and keep our wits about us, I'm sure we'll be fine. We just need more information before we get a, a real plan, a real plan of action. Well, I, I will do whatever I can to help. Usually that'll be standing in the way between all of you in danger, but, but I will do what I can to help. Well, hopefully there won't be any danger of that kind. At least not at the moment. The worst we'll have out here is a few gators, but they're not exactly a huge threat at this point. She just nods and then probably moves to some other question about like hunting or the survival or like, how do you track someone in this sort of area versus this sort of area? Like the swamp. Is it always this huge? Like things like that. Uh, Walker gives, once again, very straight, direct answers like uh, footprints. Swamp isn't uh, hard ground. Really easy to find footprints, etc., etc. And like a lot of the answers just like real basic, like the not very in depth explanations. Oh. Eventually, you guys return, and during that time, Owen! It's me. It's you. Uh, it's so him. as um, as Walker and Ishri depart for their hunting trip, Owen once again settles uh, back on his bedroll with a, uh, by now, uh, uh, kind of... <laughs> Uh, ratty piece of parchment that he's got many scribblings <laughs> on. Uh, and he he begins to puzzle out what he's going to uh, send to Marquez. Uh, but eventually he, he comes up with something that he, he finds satisfactory. Uh, and he uh, uh, he gets up onto his knees and he uh, kneels in prayer for a moment and then he says uh, under his breath but also uh, as he says the words they kind of resonate uh, in the air around him he says <clears throat> it's Owen made it back with Marco and three others they headed to the beach but a few days behind what's next cast the spell not going to mention how to respond or anything like that. Or it's Ran this out of words. <laughs> Alright, uh, can I well, get I'll that written down, heads. please, Nick? I would just like to double. says that they can respond in kind, so... Yeah. Does uh, that mean they know? Yeah. I mean, I imagine... Like, I imagine, like, any given person, if they were not prepared for this, they would go, like... The response would be like, OH GOD, WHAT THE FUCK'S HAPPENING?! That's, Who are you? What's happened well? before. <laughs> I've done that before. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh... All right. Um, the response you get back after a moment is good to hear from you. I met up with Marco. I need to. I'm gonna just intonate. Good to hear you. I met up with Marco. We killed the agents. We're <laughs> heading to Gaga. Contact me again. 
for information regarding, and it cuts off. God, oh God I fucking <laughs> call it! The walker's on the ground because I'm fucking fury, that bitch ass horse! <sighs> Uh, for those who are in the camp, uh, you all see as as Owen casts the spell, he waits for a few moments, and then his expression turns to one of like dismay, uh, and he says under his breath, "That son of a bitch." What's going on? You were talking to um Marquez. Marquez, right? I. What'd he say? He said he met up with Marco and the others. They have since killed the agents and are on their way to Garland. And I suppose we're not invited? Or it's too late? He said to contact him again for something. I don't know. The message cut off. Well, how many more uses do you have? Only the one. Hmm. Well, it could be important. It's up to you, I suppose. It's the only way out. I've got... I've got to. Don't let me keep you. I'm, I'm really excited for this one, where he has to, in less than 25 words, explain the rules of sending to Marquez. Oh. Just Tell say me you're happy, it. Nick. many words only. Please continue. Also mention where he cut off. Oh. Oh my god. I love it. I love it. Oh. Uh, I am. Owen returns to his bedroll and continues scribbling, this time with a scowl back <laughs> on his face. <laughs> Luoth is in the distance being sad that you're scowling, even though you got your fucking horse back. The fucking scribbling and scowling. I, I'm just, I feel like I feel like <laughs> Owen's just sitting this guy a fucking copy pasta. <laughs> how many fucking men he's killed and how he's in the Marines. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so here, I'll have you shit. know I'm a garish prince. I've I've got over <laughs> 300 confirmed dances and zero confirmed kills, motherfucker. Bitch, mm. I have killed a fucking hag. Twice. Yeah, and, se and several horses. Don't you fucking kill <laughs> <laughs> It's like I'm sending ghost to Luaf. Don't you start with me. I've got four confirmed horse kills. I'll make it five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what, a de what a demand respect. Uh, fun little, uh, fun little, uh, parting of the kimono. Uh, Nick did ask me at one point, uh, since we have to, you know, fill time waiting for, uh, uh, Nick, uh, he did ask me at one point if he could sending an animal, specifically Luoth. We've had this conversation with everyone. I don't believe it was in the recording, so I just feel like it needs to be out <laughs> in the ether. So. Rules as written, you can. Yeah, rules as written, you can. Lovely. They would probably not understand it directly, but they would understand the meaning. In, so in a way based on how smart they are, I suppose. But can oh. they talk back to you? Uh, they would get something back to you. Hmm. Says, Winnie, 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 nay. Nay, nay, Winnie, nay. Do whipper. Nay, I'm telling you. <laughs> and then it's like, got it. What direction is that again? <laughs> You need any help there, Nick? Oh, I'm a fucking genius. First try. Okay, I've got it. <clears throat> uh, a few more minutes go by of, of Owen furiously scribbling on this piece of parchment. And then he kneels once again, uh, lets out a deep breath in through... Is it in through the nose, out through the mouth? That's how it is? Yeah, I think um, so. And he casts the spell again. Uh, this time he says... Message can only be 25 words. How do we get to Garland? You gave your word. You won't be able to contact again for a while. 
You get back. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, you cut me off. I was still talking in my head. Uh, that's the first roughly ten. <laughs> if you can contact me again in a few days. A week. I will give you a location and time. Thank you. That's it. And there's no response. Awesome. Because I can't. Um, you're insightful enough to know he was probably talking in his head for a good two minutes after you first said that sending. So. <laughs> That's all I got, Chief. Uh, can, can we magically give Owen another level three spell slot just so we can respond with a one word bitch? Well, you, you, can, you can just give him Simons. It's not like he uses them. Uh, you. I don't. You didn't write that down, did you, man? You just, yeah. You just said, you just said it to me. I'll have to go back and write it down. I can't believe you just fucking said that to me. So anyway, um, yes, he said, give it a few days, a week. Uh, contact him again. He'll give you a time and place. With that, you guys. Your hunting finished, you come back, you begin to set up for the night. How much more hide do I have then? A decent bit, two small to so medium sized gator hides, along with so that's a. two more of what I had it already. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. These are a little bit smaller, that one was probably six, these are closer to five. And uh, a new day dawns. Um, you guys are heading to Arya? Yep. Uh, uh, yes. Just real quick, Owen would um, relate uh, to everyone his brief conversation with Marquez. All right. They. He killed them. Are they? That's what he said. Yes. Well, got a suspicion they might. <sighs> mm. Well, that does uh, put Simon and myself in the clear in that regard, at least. I mean, we shouldn't be careful, but at least that's another. That's one less thing we have to worry about. Sure enough. The next day comes. You guys have a long, arduous journey through the swamps. It is miserable and tiring. If you're willing to press on well past, like, well past, like, midnight on a full day, you could make it to Aria tonight. Or if you want to go at a normal pace, it would take... get out of the swamp. Okay. Yeah, you can get out of the Fast swamp. Pace. So. Fast pace. Let's go. Um, you're just gonna be out of the swamp. You don't uh, want to rush to Arya? Uh, okay. Owen is uh, not quite insistent that over the past few days there's been a lot of shit and there's not really any reason to rush now that we're, you know, not in imminent danger of being murdered. Fair enough. And, um, another, be out of the swamp before we rest. another night of resting about an hour outside of the Misswilled Wild Swamps, and you start to get to the northernmost all Seer Fields Plains. And... Uh, important to mention that night, Walker does sleep, and he does set up his, his little, um, okay. alarm. Alright. As he does so. That would be a night's rest for Walker. Funny bubble. Um... You guys get your bubble, another night passes, and it's about mid-afternoon the next day when you guys see the small town of Aria before you. Um, very quickly. Yes? Wouldn't... I mean... We probably should have talked about if we're gonna try to, uh... disguise Evian at all. I imagine we'd have the conversation, like, the night before with, with Arya. Um, I'm pretty hard to disguise. Uh, we'll leave, uh, part of their group outside of, uh, the town in the w near the woods. Uh, the rest of us can head in and grab supplies. I think, um, most people are able to go, and I think it is mainly just me and Ishri who need to stay outside. Well, 
anyone can come in otherwise if they want. Otherwise, they can stay with me. All right. Just a suggestion. All right. So, as you guys reach the outskirts of Aria, a small town with not a lot to give to the country at large. There are a few farms and occasionally barns with horses and cows and the like, but for the most part, this is just a small little backwoods town that barely makes it on the map and only because it's the last bastion of civilization in the country. And as you go ahead and reach the town and those of you who are heading in begin to head in, we're going to go ahead and take another quick take break. Now I have to use the restroom because I'm laughing too much. No, I'm not. That's doing funny because that. I already unrecorded the pa- unpause the recording. Oh no! Everyone knows about my small bladder. <laughs> At least I don't all know about Hannah's obsession with barbecue. Whoops! Dude, thank God. <laughs> and no one knows about me and me and Nick's special Ooh. corn besides like Mitchell and like Mitch. Anyway, Wait, so <laughs> as you guys arrive in Aria, remind me. It is early <laughs> afternoon. You're in fucking is, civilization. Is anyone opting to stay in nature with Evian and Ish? Uh, I'll almost stay if nobody else will. I mean, Ishri says, I, I, I'm i fine with, we'll be fine. I've, I can handle myself in nature. And email me with me. Be good. So it's not 13 different excuses. It's not that I don't think you're competent or anything. It's, you know, it's nice to have company, as you said last night. I'm sure we'll find the way to keep each other in there. Is that That so? No. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You look odd. I mean, you wouldn't want to miss your chance to go into this this city. Only a few things to grab, to be honest. I'm gonna get us, uh, I'm gonna get us a keg. Are you not gonna enjoy sleeping in a in civilization again? I don't think the plan was to stay the night, was it? Just grab supplies. I'm not going to check the bounty board. I mean, but if you know, if you don't want. You don't want me to stay. I'm, I'm fine going as well. I would just. I would rather you get a civilization. It looks interesting. Are we going to go this way with Evie and I avoiding civilization? For uh, the I rest imagine of once time? we get you a good cloak, we'll uh, you'll be able to come in. Oh, good. 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 May have they'll have things in the area. That will work. I can't imagine there's going to be a second-hand store. Maybe something like there was in Baron Harbor. I bet he will. Either way, let's get going. Don't want to delay too long. Hmm. Walker is power walking towards the nearest bar. Um... So it is a decent walk only because there are a lot of farms that take up and every house has a yard. It's very different from the hustle and bustle of something like Starshore or even Varen Harbor or Tybuck Rest, which are here. Everything is more, there's more room, but you eventually make it towards the city center. The only thing that has seemed blatantly active and not like... This is very, like, backwoods, small town, relaxed. The only thing that's constantly making noise, there's a lumber mill that seems to be in the southern portions of the town. uh, Probably up against the wilds forest. But uh, other than that, it's very quiet. You eventually get to the town center. Uh, Amongst the the things that stick out are... The yeah. Antelier Stockade and a small tavern and inn called One More Drink. Then, yes, Walker would glance towards the lumber mill. How busy does it seem? 
moderately. Um, there are multiple people running it right now. Um, seems decently busy. Based on like you can't you can't it, see a lot. Than... Like like I said, I mean it's it's away from the uh, the town. But based on but the yeah. people on the on people moving around, does it seem busier than the uh, Walker Mill? Um, at some types of the year, sometimes the year, yeah. Like it's. It's very active right now, which does make sense given the massive forest that is next to Arya. But it does seem like it is really kicking right now. Yeah, no, definitely first uh, stop at the end, though. Um, the tavern and inn, the one more drink. You head in, you, uh, oh god, this is so nostalgic. I get to look at notes for a town that are formatted <laughs> properly for the first time in so long. Uh, you head right. in, and it's not very large in here. It's a bit cramped. There's no more room for maybe more than 20 or 30 people. There's The tables are all up against each other, kind of jammed up. Like, full capacity, there would not be a lot of room for people to move around if they wanted to. But as for people, there are two people sitting off to the side that are currently having a drink, and one guy who's uh, bald with a decent beard sitting over... Uh, at the bar itself, uh, sipping more nursing lazily, a large tankard, and there is a barkeep that is the only person you see that seems to be running things. We all want to know, then, are there any secret soul striders here? We look into the corners. <laughs> Give me we a look perception corners check. Across our eyes, just to make sure. Give me a perception check. How many perception checks are allowed? Two. Walker's doing it. Dibs. Well, <laughs> fuck you all. don't need me. Ha! <laughs> dad and dad precision. You scan the room with as much careful, just detail-oriented looking as you can. You perceive every little nook and cranny. You note some chewed up bits of uh, what looks like uh, a bit of the just running wood at the bottom. Probably rats. Maybe not here, but this place definitely has rats. Other than that, nothing of note. Walker will approach the bar. Approach the bar and there's a gentleman, maybe 50-ish. Uh, starting to... He's got... Starting to bald, he's got a little bit of hair at the front, kind of like a tuft that is very thin, and other than that, he's still got thick hair, uh, kind of crowning his head otherwise. Um, and he just kind of looks up at you. What can I do for you? Looking to grab a keg. Oh, a keg? <laughs> well, I'm interested now. Where's the party at? On the road. Ho hopefully I'll last a little bit. Oh, shit, on the road. That's, oh, that's... Not what I expect to hear. Uh, I could, I could probably get you a keg. Probably take me a what, ten minutes. I can get in the back, get one out. You want a full keg, a half keg, anything specific you're looking for, or just a house ale? Half keg should do us for now. Something, something decent. Uh, Walker kind of like leans on the bar and gets a, bit, a little bit closer. Got anything good for a first timer? Someone doesn't drink before. His eyebrows raise a bit, and they're surprisingly thin, like... Not, like, they look vaguely like the kind of thing that would be plucked type of thing. They're very, uh, perfect for this guy who does not look to care too much. He just kind of... What if this time, I don't know. Mm. I mean, anything in a keg in ten minutes will be good to knock a first-timer on their ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it smiles. Looking to go easy on her. At least for now. Oh, oh. And he, like, scratches his nose. I got it. <laughs> it's not Walker laughing, it's William laughing. And he, uh, he heads into the back and comes out with a... He's, like, awkwardly, he kind of limps a bit. Looks like he... Uh, tendering his left leg as he kind of limps back and... <sighs> slams a tankard onto the uh, a tankard. He uh, slams a 
barrel onto the um, onto the bar and just kind of leans onto it with his elbow. Oy, this will get right good. Uh, Walker kind of like taps on it. Uh, it's about two thirds full. At a glance, too. Like, just like, you can kind of tell just from tapping on it, it's about two thirds full. Mind if I try some? He motions to the tap at the bottom of it. Pour it yourself. So I can, drops I, I guess Walker down for you. Okay, Walker will use his tankard and uh, pour a little bit, just enough to get a good taste, swish it around a bit, and then give it a go. It's it's a bit sweeter than you would expect ale to be, but it's got a um, like it comes on very strong, but has a sweet, like almost a, almost like a sugary aftertaste to it. Like it's stiff. Wait a wait a minute. <laughs> I've 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 seen this before. Like it's uh like it's an, a stiff taste, like a stiff drink. Um, yeah, Someone's like it comes across like up. it's probably got pretty high alcohol content. But, you know, to get rid of the strong alcohol content taste, they added something, some sort of sweetener to it. But it it's decent. How much? Well, are you going to be bringing the keg back or are you taking it with you? Yeah, we'll probably take the keg with us. Six crosses. Uh, look, does that seem good, Walker? I, I guess it's good for William. A fucking Walker will produce the six crosses from his recent payday. Kind of gives you a little nod. Not often you see people coming in here and just buying a tanker off me, buying a keg off me like this. Well, got paid recently, so might as well stock up. Well, gonna be in town longer? Are you heading out now? Or you have room yeah, for the probably night? Probably head out soon. We got a few. Not a lot. They're not nice, but the rooms. Mm. No, I don't think so, but I could use some more directions if you're willing to provide them. Well, if you keep going north, you're gonna end up in a shithole of a swamp, and past that, you're gonna end up to being turned around. Uh, Walker, uh, kinda like, exhales quickly. What, what may be a laugh for him? Uh, what is that noise? That's Alex. <laughs> um. She's been abducted. Looking for, um, uh, clothes. Cloaks, something like that. Hit in town. Yeah, something shitty is fine. As long as it's something. He, at this point, he exhales and does a little, hmm. Honestly, there's only one clothier in, in the town. It's uh, mm. across the way, right off the main street. Thoughtful threads. Right, right. Well, thanks for that. Problem. Don't oh, and help me get this. Walker's gonna start, like, trying to pick up fucking half the barrel. A decent size. It'll, it'll last you guys at least a couple days. Can can I carry the barrel? Hey, yeah, you can carry it. Fucking Walker has her own self and Rom just, like, just fucking takes it. <sighs> Shoulders it. All by her lonesome. Uh, she hey, don't Walker's not no gonna complain. Man. I just had a funny. It was just a funny image to me, thinking of Owen and Walker just fucking both carrying a barrel, or carrying carrying the same barrel together. Uh, anyway, yeah. Thanks for that. Uh, and thanks for the booze. Walker will uh, get off the bar and start heading out. All right, you guys, head back out. We're now in the center of town with a keg of booze. Anything else to do, or heading back to the party, or...? Uh, fucking, uh, need to get some fucking big cloaks. Right. You head to the small, clothier, thoughtful threads. It is a small, like, uh, there's a small sign that has a wood carving of two needles, which, uh, which look like they're stitching a heart. If anyone wants to play D&D, <laughs> feel cute. free, by the way. Logan, Logan is going unconscious due to headaching. What down a Logan now? But anyway, yeah. So you guys head to the thoughtful threads. You see a woman inside with short red hair, and she just kind of like gives a little smile. Hi there. What um? She like almost like almost unexpected. Billy C. Walkins, and uh, you get a very quick sense that. 
This is a small house that got turned into a business. This isn't... This is a... If not recent, then a less than lucrative business. Um, yeah, I'm just looking for... Just looking for some cloaks. Secondhand is fun. I don't, any particular color, style, size? I mean, Big, and she kind of looks at <laughs> Lom and Owen and Simon and Amari and what? Well, like you guys have all different sizes to you. <laughs> like bigger is bigger is better. Van gives you For finger traveling. guns. Um. Well, okay, I can I can do that for you. No problem. Uh, did you have a particular color? Brown, dirty? No. Nope. Cheap. Cheap. All right. Hopefully Anything else? And she, she begins, like, heading into the back, and, like, she's rooting through a bunch of what look like uh, wicker baskets, which are full of stuff, just kind of, like, throwing stuff on the counter behind her or doing the laziest. It's like when you finish laundry day and you're looking for a particular shirt. She's doing that, but with, like, half of her stock right now. And uh, she just kind of pauses for a second. And... Anything else? Or is, is this going to be it? I suppose I could use a change of clothes myself. Look like about a... Are you wearing your armor, Owen? He is, yeah. You look like about a... Small or medium? How much are you hiding under that? <laughs> Less than you might imagine. Gives her a wink. <laughs> her eyes go <laughs> wide and she just... <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, any any preference for you? Uh, no. Traveling clothes, you know. Something that can hold up. Probably whatever you have made, we're not we're not looking to spend too much time in town. I She kinda just nods, just again, in acknowledgement. After about five minutes she produces Three cloaks, all pretty large. Um, one is still tattered. It looks like it's still in the process of being repaired. The other two are nice, but worn. Um, all of them varying shades of brown. The nicer ones being darker, more of like a royal brown. Whereas the more tattered one is kind of royal a... Royal brown? Uh, yeah, you know, like, it's got, like, that strong brown to it. Like, like you, ever a, seen, you ever seen, a, like, a, a piece of shit on a pedestal? It looks like that. Yeah, yeah. like, really bad diarrhea. Uh, whereas the other one is, like, a much lighter, almost orange brown. Take all three, how much? Kind of like... Uh, I have... Uh, I could do... I could throw in the the whole set with uh, for your friend here, and kind of motions towards Owen... Uh, all of it for two crosses. Does it seem, seem like a good deal to Walker? Uh... This ain't booze, like, yeah. it, you know. Yeah, it's probably a bit high. <sighs> That's fine. <laughs> Walker considers a moment, but, I mean... These if, are still if... traveling cloaks, and the clothing is a full set. Um, is she even, like, there's boots, there's a couple changes of socks... Oh, uh, yeah. Socks, bless. Um, like, Walker knows that in the event that him and his dad leave the country, the money's gonna be more or less fucking useless. Yeah. So Walker will uh, pony up the two crosses. Uh, Owen will contribute a cross, too. If you don't Walker kind of wa waves a hand. Remember, I made the, I made the money off of uh, what we did last. Aye. Very well. Any, anything else for you? Uh, are y'all good? Should be it. Walker looks back to, like, Rom and Amari. Assuming Amari's with us. Yeah, he's there. He's just looking through. Se um, seems like after Simon interested. decided to, uh, to head in, he turned back around. So. Yeah, he's not really interested in what she's got. This will suffice for now. There's no name brands in here. <laughs> Uh, no, most of this is secondhand, repaired. Um, there are some things that do look like they're in the process of being made, but um, you would note that a lot of it is like at a glance, like a lot of it does seem secondhand and like more, uh, more like warm weather stuff and things that you 
Things that obviously wouldn't sell here, but still aren't currently marked for sale or like already reserved or something. Uh, then was it early early in the day? Uh, it's like one, two o'clock. Mm. Uh, did uh, we've ate several meals since we've been going? Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming it's been rations that we were given, right? Yeah, you guys were given rations. You had you've hunted some gators. I'm assuming you probably hunted other things. Yeah. Um, should I put my number of rations up? I'm at I'm at like I have like 27 in my bag. That seems about right for now. I don't know why it's at 27. That seems like a uh, Anyway, um, let's see. Uh, uh did should we ever have like? Food like like forks and shit like a uh, cutlery like a mess kit term? a mess kit. Ishri? Ishri? Hannah? Biden? Hannah is kill. Well, try trying to be nice. Yeah. Um, I guess so. I guess she did. Oh, sorry, sorry. I went to the bathroom. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> Oh, okay. Gotta clean off that barbecue sauce. Oh, yeah, it was definitely it. Sorry, sorry, what happened? Uh, ha- uh, we've eaten several times since we've, you know, been in this group. Has Ishri used a mess kit? Oh, I gotta check. Uh, he has not. Did never. she have a water skin or anything like that? Yes, she had a water skin, uh, but she's never used a mess kit. She, I guess, eats with her hands every time. Right. Um, I guess the last thing Walk would want to do then is grab a few basic travel supplies for living in Lenore for Ishri. Which I think would just be one extra water skin and like a mess kit. Does Um, she have a sleeping bag? Yeah, she has a bedroll. It's uh, well mended, like all of her other equipment. Um, But yeah. She has, like, a backpack, too, but it's mostly... It's kind of a sack, more than a backpack. Like a rucksack. Yeah. Yes. So, um... So I guess a mess kit and extra water skin? Mess kit, water skin, um... We'll say for the sake of brevity, uh, getting that stuff is gonna run ya. Um, uh, are they... Do they also have, like, apples and or sugar cubes? Or carrots. I will also accept carrots. There's farms. You yeah. There's there's farms. Um, you could definitely get those things. Um, carrots would probably be a bit rarer, given the fact that most of that sort of stuff is getting shipped off to the big city. But you could probably essentially wholesale get a apple or two. How many did you want? A bushel? Uh, at least three apples. Oh, you could get that for, um, let's say, that would run you three cents. Owen will happily pay, uh, five cents for the apples. All right. And, uh, the mess kit gonna run you, mess kit and the water skin, a clip. Excellent. Uh, anything else you guys need? Uh... As the, I guess as the group is walking back towards where the others are, Walker would uh, you know, stop for a second and say, hold on a moment, I'm going to go check in with the uh, ventilator, see the bounty board here. You head inside to the stockade. Um, you see a uh, the anterior is sitting there, probably, like, this place, even for how small it is, looks like it's running off skeleton crew. You see a woman, maybe 60, 65, long, graying hair, uh, kind of looks up at you. She looks like she sleeps about four hours a night right now. Ooh. And just kind of, hello, what can I help you with? Greetings. Just a bounty hunter looking uh, for the board. And motions towards it. It's fairly barren, all things considered. Um... There is a uh, there is a wanted. Any information leading to the whereabouts of this man, possibly dangerous, needed alive, was traveling with companions, and a drawing of Evian. <laughs> Oopsies. Walker kind of like examines for a second. Anything else significant on the board? Uh, 
Need able-bodied persons interested in upholding the laws of Solara and Lenore to join the Antelier Brigade? Uh, missing dog that looks vaguely like a shepherd. It's like not a very good drawing, uh, like a kid's drawing. It looks like more than anything. Uh, like, is that the actual written description? No, dog it just says missing, like and then like <laughs> I, I, I was reading the wrong line. In my notes. Is this the dog we saw at the beginning of the campaign? Vin? No, surely not. No, um, it looks vaguely like a shepherd. It's not very good. All it says is comes to the name Bing. Bing. Yeah. Bing. Um, Bing the dog. The offer Bing, Bing, is wow. three cents and my best stick. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Um, I'm also uh, gonna cry. I take everything back. Uh, Fucking Bing. Other than that, there is a uh, need able-bodied persons willing to work. Coin paid out daily. See Valley at the Valiant Lumber Mill. Hmm. And the ever-present. Constant. Arm the armor and weapons. Yeah. Like a piece of stale bread that you know will make you want to be miserable. Open offer weapons and armor, any quality, coin paid out immediately. Walker kind of sighs after perusing the board. Slim pick me these days, huh? Uh, a lot going on up here. Probably have more luck thing. better in the cities. Rock roll, nod to the uh, brigadesman and head out. Nods to you. Luck, young sir. And Walker rejoins the others. You come out of the stockade uh, to a scene of Owen uh, treating the horses to fresh apples. Cool. Kind of like look at that before joining the others. <laughs> I thought you were getting a horse for fucking Ish. Or I thought you were getting an apple for Ishri to be like, here, try this. You were getting a horse for horses. horses. <laughs> well, fuck Ishri. Let's not like get some things to try. I mean, uh, now, uh, now I'm imagining Owen like petting Ishri on the head, like, there, there, just try it. Try a bit. Like feeding her an apple out of his Every, Everyone's an animal in some <laughs> aspects. He just holds it out, palm up, fingers splayed like he would for a horse. <laughs> but for her, it's a sugar cube. <laughs> Sorry, Hannah. Oh, it's here. Well, if, if it were it's Hannah, it would just it would be a fucking barbecue cube. <laughs> oh no. Oh. All right. Anyway, so, so I, uh, not much. Uh, you guys all get bounties. back. You head back to uh, Evie and Simon and Ishri. It's gonna comment on something first. Okay. Not much as far as bounties go in there. Just uh, the dangerous man who might be traveling with a group. You know, now that I think about it, we probably should have made a promise to not put us on any kind of bounty. But it was printed before you we uh, before you were there. I suppose. I imagine this has been been here for uh, a couple of days. Either way, let's get back to the others. Best be off. I imagine one of the it's like one of the horses is carrying the uh, keg at this point. I mean, yeah, you can tie a keg to the horse, like put it right on I'll the saddle. I'll carry bag. the keg. Alex is admitting that Rom's a horse. We're all horses. Uh, Walker isn't. Anyway, so anyway. you guys eventually get back to Simon and Shri and Evian. Uh, did you guys have anything while they were gone for an hour or so? Um, Shri would have asked Evian if he wanted to spar again so she could learn some more. Uh, she'd say, um, you know, you'll just learn something in one day. You know, it takes a couple. Okay, a Evian while. Would be would be a more than willing teacher. Um, That's exactly what happens. You guys get teach, back about an hour later to Ishri and Evian sparring and Simon watching. Still working on a drawing of Ishri that he started. <sighs> Found another one of your bounties, Evian. Mm. 
Do I look pretty on it? Hmm. Don't know how to answer that question. Very. They made his nose look more broken in the drawing than it looks in real life. You sure? You got a couple things for you. Walker produces a small mess kit and a uh, water skin. I imagine the mess kit's like it's like a like a, a wide rimmed like plate, like a tall rimmed bi- plate that like houses the other stuff with like another plate on top of it to kind of like keep it all together. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Um... Thank you. Um, I already have a water skin. I need another one. It's always best to be um, prepared to have more than you need. I guess. Does no one else need one? Rest of us are good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for getting. Otherwise, uh, Avia Nutri cloaks for you. Uh, Walker produces the two uh, well-worn but very nice big cloaks mm-hmm. and uh, the one uh, kind of uh, torn up big cloak. And also, <laughs> three ratty cloaks that Walker's had in his bag the entire time! Oh my, oh my god! Uh, uh, to be fair, those have been being slowly cut up into Hang on. for the No, no, no. Time. There's three full cloaks in one-tenth of another cloak. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> It's just hold now. Yeah, I, I, I forgot. Well, you got your pick from these. I'll hand Rob's book back, Roach. I'm assuming I've been wearing this whole time. I have no preference. I, I, I usually wear things I find on the end. Uh, it's not a lot better. Is her mic cutting out for anyone else? Yeah, no, Hannah's cutting out bad. Is that better? A little. Mildly. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah? There we go. Yeah. But I, 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 I usually take my clothes off and keep them connected. So this smells far better and is a lot less rich. So I'm not, I'm not picky at all. But you'll grab the extra ratty one. The extra ratty one? No, like the, of the three, the one you just bought that's just like the most worn. Mm. Even we'll take the other big one. Walker puts the other ones away, intent on using them later. <laughs> so, Van, I'm going to increase my number of ratty cloaks from... What the fuck? Three to four? Uh, yes, from 3.1 to 4.1. Okay. One of those is a pretty good cloak, to be fair. Yeah, but fuck it. It's ratty now. It'll make some good bandages. Which is even fire, because right now you just have infinitely reusable bandages. Listen, it's always good to have more, just in case we all need to be mummies at once. You never know. <laughs> yeah, what happens on Halloween, Ven? Come on. Dude, fucking think of your brain for once in your fucking life, dude. So, what Jesus. are you guys doing? It's afternoon. Uh, or outside of Aria. Walker gestures for uh, uh, Rom to put the keg down. I'm sure she already probably did put it down. Walker kind of sits next to it. Takes out his uh, his fucking mug or his cup or whatever the fuck and pours himself some. Fuck, it takes a long drink that doesn't stop until the pier, the ale is gone. Owen, uh, Owen looks down at Walker. <sighs> and then he says, uh, I'm surprised, Walker, there's still daylight. What's the matter? We got the job done. I thought there were places to be. Places to be? I guess so, but... I mean... Our time frame isn't exactly as... dire as it was before. I'll need to... take another... rest within the next few days to recover my strength. So mm. I can contact Marquez again. The forest isn't too bad out here. But, yeah. It'll be a couple days before we hit any other cities besides Aria. Shouldn't we be headed east? No, west. 
Yep, that's where Sharondale, Dresswood, and Monster Clan are. Well? Okay. You guys set up in a small thicket outside of Aria <laughs> with your keg? Do we? Are you? I was about to say, I, I mean, we should, we should probably go while there's... Well, there's daylight for them, so that we can see, you know? Places oh, to be. I don't see any reason to rush at this point. Well, there is a poster with Evian's face on it back in town. I feel like that might be just about everywhere, though, no? Well, right. suppose, suppose in a few days Marquez tells us that we need to be back in Starshore, or somewhere even farther away. Suppose he says we need to be in Valen Harbor or something like that. That is true. He told you. He told us before when we met with him that even if we completed the the mission, the job, it would be a month until the boat actually came to get you guys. Came to get you guys. Well, things have changed. I expect when he said that he wasn't expecting to murder any officers of the Antelier and make off to Garland? Walker sighs and looks down at his fucking empty cup. Puts it away and gets the fuck up off the ground looking fucking dead beat tired. <laughs> he slept last night! Fuck you! It's such a thing as being exhausted in other ways. He's also tired all the time, so what do you want from me? It's just hitting him harder now, than this moment. Oh. You guys have... S Walker sits... Are you guys... Walker's giving in <laughs> to peer pressure <laughs> like a little bitch. I guess we're gonna keep walking. Uh, once we are suitably away from the town, Walker would, uh, bring up, should probably talk about what the plan is, what everyone plans to do. Aye, there's that as well. I think I've made it clear what I'm planning. I need to get to Dresswood. I think I've said it before, but I mean to go home. There's a place for you all, if you wish to accompany me. That has been my intention as well, just to get back to Garland. Are you going to be going with Owen once you get to Garland, Evian? Um... I guess it depends. I'm not sure. I haven't made up my mind about that part yet. I had hoped to learn more using my magic. I had hoped I wouldn't have to use it on Marquez twice, but here we are. I guess there's some people I'd like to apologize to. Maybe warn about what's coming. Where's that? Oh, here and there. Guess it'll depend on where we're supposed to be going. Well, we're heading due west right now. Sharondale, Dresswood, Monster Glen. Well, I'm from Morwen. Hmm. And 
anybody else I care about is probably still in Verona. Hmm. Wasn't... Didn't... Walker kind of like, looks for the words. The word witch crosses crosses his mind, but he decides not to use it. Didn't, didn't that magic user in um, Dunrock tell you to go to Verona? Aye. What was that all about? I don't know. She promised us a pitcher of whiskey and a hint of home in Verona. That sounds like Walker wants to use the word bullshit. Besides, use the word cryptic. <laughs> Guess we'll see where the winds blow us. Guess we'll see where Marquez makes us go. What the rest of you? Walker looks to Amari and I guess Ishri. Mm-hmm. I mean, for what it's worth, I, I'm I would be really interested to see this, this family that you all have. And these people. God damn it! Seem to put yourselves out there so much for. Um, I wouldn't sorry. mind seeing him. What'd you say? I wouldn't mind seeing him. Okay, what did Ishri say? Oh, did I not like stop. I must. Yeah, it has some weird like. It, it sounds like the. Uh, we like, will probably be able to fix it after the session. I have a feeling I know what it is. Um. I for I, for one, would be very interested in me. These, this family of yours that you would, these people that you care about enough, that you would put yourselves out there for. Is she speaking to Walker? I mean, all of them. It's all of them. They've all mentioned family at this point. Ah, most of them. At least the E Street they have. Some of our families might not be. Well. Not all of us might want to go to the same place. Only my father's in Dreswood. I know Maria's family in Monster Glen. Sounded like Ramas, at least someone up in uh, Morwen. Well, that's where everyone is, but it's not really them that I want to talk to. Hmm. Or well, Evian has some family, uh near the Cordalis coast. But what about after that issue? I know Owen's intent on heading home where he tends to uh, join the war effort against Stilnor. Oh, I, not. I, I definitely won't be joining a war effort. I, I, I am sure your intentions are pure, but I just, I, I, I cannot see past the barbarism. I just, I just can't. Um, I, I don't know. If anyone would let me travel with them, see what I can. Try to find a way home. I don't know if my, I don't know if my father's going to want to leave, but if he does, we'll probably end up trying to find uh, the rest of our family.
I've got to get Fergus as well. Who's that? He's my uncle. I mentioned him the other day. Oh, the scion, yes. Owen raises an eyebrow at Walker. Just kind of looks back. Called him a scion, did you? She asked about the scions I mentioned. Some of us have had mm. family affiliated with them. Why, why do you wish to get your uncle to such a... She's doing such terrible things. <laughs> terrible things, eh? And he raises his other eyebrow. I only just, mentioned what we experienced. Just what exactly has he been telling you, Ishii? <laughs> and, uh, yeah... Uh, she, like, looks at Walker a little confused. Uh, he said they were bandits, and they, they killed people in the name of doing good, and they were misguided. To the point of killing people, and robbing them, and maybe setting off terrible devastations. I'm not really sure about that one. I mentioned the item we helped recover, and I mentioned what happened to us on the road. Well, they're not bandits. We Perhaps just commit misguided. Banditry. You could call what we've been doing banditry, Walker. We could. Walker kind of shrugs a bit. And we are not bandits. I mean, you, you don't kill people, do you? Just for the sake of it? No. Looks the away. only time we've ever killed anyone is out of complete necessity. Can um, history insight check that, please? <laughs> there were two that bled out to my please. bolts. That bled out to my bolts back when we were originally leaving Dunrock. It was unfortunate, but we did we fought that that we fought them in self defense. Oh yeah, if you uh. uh, uh uh, um. Yeah. Uh, Ishri, yeah. Um. It seems like they are being forthright about the whole not killing people if they don't have to thing. Okay, cool. Just wanted to double check. It's, you know, important. Just a tad bit important. Um. Then. Then. Then, no one from your perspective, what what are they then? The Scions are... Uh, they want to make this place better. They are dissatisfied with how the country is being run. They're trying to change things. And I'm not going to pretend that everything they do is just and noble. But I don't think any of us can pretend the same. The only thing I'll say in positive about them is that they did keep that item away from Nor. I think we all have an idea of what would have happened to it if uh, if the church had their hands on it. Not have been great. No. I would not have. There are people fighting for what they think is right. Just like my people. They just don't know who they're fighting. Yes, they're wrong. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you think you're right if you're fighting. For the wrong um, it doesn't matter if what? It's really hard to understand. Oh, <laughs> god damn it. Uh, like it sounds like water. she's talking through a pillow. Right? Or, or, my or like she's got barbecue sauce in her mouth. That's definitely Maybe it. Like, it's definitely that one. You might want to like stop the tone and just try to like talk normally. I think that I think that helps a bit. Uh God damn it. Uh It doesn't matter if what they uh if God damn it. Uh it doesn't matter if they think they're doing right if 
at the end of the day, they're doing it for the wrong reasons. It doesn't matter what their perspective is, at the end of the day. Do you mean using the wrong methods? Yes, yes. I don't know if I agree with that. I've had this conversation before, Owen. Sometimes good intentions aren't enough. Sometimes it's all you have. Their alternative is to live in a state where you can get a letter from the capital telling you to execute three innocent people for the sake of convenience. He's not wrong. Fact of life we all deal with. We all no, deal it's with. not a fact of life, Walker. Something we can change. Something that they have set out to change. Really horrible. Really true. But, but why? What? what? Why would they do that? There, there must be some reason. They aren't. They are actually monsters, right? If you've seen, if you had seen the things that, well, I know I've seen, you wouldn't be so quick to judge the scions. It appears it's more nuanced than I think. I just try to relay things. And things are very different. I, I apologize. Oh, it's all right, mess. No mistake. But they're not bandits. Amari seems to have been thinking about something when he finally, like, snaps his fingers. I was thinking when you mentioned the witch, what she said. Hmm. A bit of a bit of home, I think it was. And whiskey. That's... I know that place. That's a place in Verona. The Same picture of whiskey or the hint of home? It's a tavern that was really, really nice in Verona called the Hint of Home. I know Simon isn't going to want to go there, but... If I recall, Ram wasn't a big fan of it either. <sighs> Can't say well... I'm too keen on marching into Verona myself, but... You will have to agree with the others that I am not a. F I don't think any of us want to delve into the uh, capital. It's not exactly anything I ever planned on doing. No real reason to. Yeah, it was. It was just a thought. I just remembered it. I know no there one really needs to go there. There are people that I would talk to there. If we did, end up going. Oh, and I've got... Uh, son of a bitch, I've got to message Miles as well. There's so much to do. Mm. <laughs> Suppose you'll need a good place to rest then. It's going to take me days to contact everyone I want to. Oh, and I died for a second. Sorry. She'll be back. She always comes back. <laughs> so anyway... You know, Jakeman's family has a uh, pretty good tavern in Dreswood. Yeah, the bee's knees. We <laughs> can get the best honey meat. preoccupied with the drink are we oh are we or are we waiting <laughs> i mean i'm going to get someone i'm there but 
I'm sure. It's, I'm sure. Um, if I asked Jacobin's fam, I'd give you uh, give you a discount. Oh, uh, are we waiting for Hannah? <laughs> no, she's back. He's been she's back. Okay. Okay. I'm so sorry. Is it better? Yeah. Mildly. Okay. Cool. I just we'll can't see. talk about it at all. Anyway. So Walker was just saying that uh, Jakeman's family's uh, tavern is a pretty good place to stay, and that they could probably they'd probably give you a discount. <laughs> Mayhap. But I might need to go pick up Fergus. <laughs> Only Karad knows what trouble he's gotten himself into while we've been gone. Who hmm. found out if uh, you didn't use both your sendings on more <laughs> You're not. You're not a character. Get out of here. <laughs> was that Nick? Was that Nick? I thought it was Mitch. <laughs> that, no, that was Nick. <laughs> oh I, I too get Nick and Mitch confused a lot. Anyway, um, I mean, if you need to, if you need to rest to continue messaging people, would it be better to get that, to get that out of the way now so you know what you're doing? I think that might be a good idea. Take a couple of days to rest up so you have your stuff. Pick. Not really Magic. sure what to call it. Magic. Yeah, but I feel like there's there's like a a measurement. Of magic. You know, you can only do a certain amount before you're unable to do more. Uh, I'm, I don't know how much you guys talk about it, I'll never get used to it. Capacity? No. Mm -hmm. like, a, like a. Endurance? There's only so much power. Perhaps, that perhaps a slot? No, 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 there's only one ROM. Shh. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, then. All I'm saying is our net gain of cultured whores is zero as far as we know. Anyway. So... As this conversation winds down here outside of Aria, you guys discuss what's happening next, where to, and finding yourselves, at least for the time being, safe and sound within the country with a way out, sometimes relatively soon, as you figure out what's next for this wayward band of adventurers. For tonight, we go ahead and end the session. I just wanted to get people drunk! God damn it! I'm fuck you all! Oh. <laughs> so Ishri won't be able to get- I won't be allowed to get them getting drunk! God hey. damn it! Oh. Hey, Next hey, week, guys. Next week. Hey.